Oh my god, first time chatter! Can we get some PCITUs for hyperactive? Um, from YouTube? Ain't no way. Um, I know you're new here. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me, but welcome in. You also get cool, free follower emotes. Have fun with them. Okay, I'm muting again. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, dressing up today because we're farming. <laughs> but welcome in. We had Kimari, um, Kwak, Mac, Keelan, and Kobobo in the Just Starting Soon screen. And Kim, thank you all for chatting and hanging out. Thank you guys, thank you. Um, you want. <laughs> Should I do a spin? This is actually. What is this? Oh, see, that's my laptop. I was like, what is that? I was like, did I crack my lens again? Um, this is actually the dress I wore to the convention I went to in, what you call it, September. Oh, it's cool. It has like these rows of living. And it, you guys can't see it because it cuts off here, but the skirt, when I spin it actually like flows up. It's cute. Um, I would po I would post full body pics, but no, no way. That ain't happening just yet. You are dressed to a convention? Yeah, I'm, I'm insane. It's actually, like, super comfortable. Surprisingly. The only... Because, like, it, go it goes to about, like, six inches above my ankle. Because, like, I didn't have a cosplay because I'm not a nerd. So I was like, you know... Um... 
Ain't no way. Hold. A 12 month sub? Holy. Can we get some weenie peeps? But welcome in, Emmy. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Where's my yo emote? Hi, Emmy. Um. Holy. Um. I was gonna say, because, like, I didn't want to cosplay, but. Wait, I just realized a year? Have I known you for that long? It has been a year, hasn't it? Oh, that's so cute. But hi, Emmy. If you don't know, Emmy is a friend of the show. I feel so bad because Emmy literally streams at like 8 p.m. and I can't fucking watch anymore. Stream earlier. <laughs> um, yeah, because I, I wore a dress because I didn't want to wear cosplay, but I still wanted to like feel cool. Um, yeah, so we're dressing up today. It's like 12 for me when she goes live. I know! That's why, like, I'm taking the morning slot. We're getting all the EU frogs. Yeah, I updated the secret command. Um, so today, the plan is simple. If you're new to stream or new to chat, um, please make sure you fill out this quiz today because we're reviewing it at the end of stream today. I mean, today. <laughs> so do it now if you're lurking, if you're chatting, or if you're new here. Do it, do it, please. I think we have... We have a lot of submissions, surprisingly, for a channel my size. We had 17. Oh my god, my favorite number. Let's make it 18. So fill it out now if you haven't already. Um, so today, we are going to find out what my love language is. Along with another good handful of fun Valentine's Day quizzes. And we're also going to review the results of some of the community... The viewer quiz that I made. So... Um, just to go over it briefly, I have so many windows open, I'm insane. Um, this one. Okay. <laughs> Dude, streaming for my laptop is not fun, it's not fun. So, it's posted on my Twitter, it is my pinned tweet. So, you guys know already, if you don't want to click the link in chat, just go to my Twitter, it's my, or it's not my pinned tweet anymore, fuck. It's on my Twitter. I unpinned it. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> so just cl click the pin message in chat if you haven't filled it out. But just to see what it looks like. Here it is. You don't have to put your email or anything. This is just... The only information I need is your Twitch user. And then it's just a quick multiple choice. And then an optional free response that you can choose to submit. If you like the free response questions will be reviewed on stream tomorrow it is fully anonymous so don't be scared to answer answer honestly and truthfully so yeah it'll be a lot of fun you never got to see it last time um the calligraphy keelan will be at the end of every stream now you can look back at the vod you can also do that too i didn't study did you take the quiz kim you should do it now you have a lot of time. It takes five minutes, guys. It takes five minutes. Um, I don't know how long I'm stream for, because my goal... Because tomorrow's stream is going to be a bit longer, because for each free response question I'll respond to, it's going to take, like, about 10 to 15 minutes per question. So, and I have, like, 10 that I have to answer. So, yeah. So, today's stream might be a bit shorter, but tomorrow's will be longer, I promise. Thank you to everybody who did complete the survey. I'm not going to say who did it, because, you know, it's anonymous. But, yeah. It'll be a lot of fun. Took you a minute and a half. Dude, actually speed running. How'd you stick Pikachu to the chair? Magic. It's magic. No, it's just... It's duct tape. Right on his ass. Oh no, pop quiz? I didn't study either. We can still fill it out. It'll be extra credit. <laughs> I was gonna say, whoever got 100% gets a sub, but there's no right or wrong answer, so no subs. <clears throat> you got second place in Mario Party? Damn. Peace out to L. Okay, are we done stalling? Are we done stalling? Filled it out. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. You guys have you guys have like an hour to do it, so please do it. Also, the way this headband sits on my head, it lines up right here. So it's making it's stretching out my glasses. <laughs> and I hate it. I have to go. Okay, bye, Quack. Thank you for coming in. Also, I'm glad you like the YouTube. It's not often we get YouTube frogs. But we hope to see you again. Goodbye. I studied and got a perfect score. Copium. Copium. Okay, I need to... 
I will also be answering these questions myself when we are reviewing them. So don't be scared, I will be self-reporting on myself. <clears throat> but before that, because we are gonna stall, <laughs> I have selected a good handful of quizzes that we can, or that I can answer. <laughs> that way you guys can learn a little bit more about me. And you parasocial landies, you'll get to know me more. Have you read the questions yet? I reviewed some of them because I'm gonna fully review all the responses tonight. That way I can kind of like make a bullet point list of how I want to respond to them. So yes and no, but I haven't seen who answered what because I want to like keep them fairly anonymous. Because some like questions or responses more fun, some are more kind of like serious. So I want to make sure I handle them appropriately. <clears throat> okay. So, I have, let's see, two, four, six, I have like 15 quizzes pulled up. If I like them, then we'll do them. If I don't like it, I'll, I'll skip them. But yeah, let's get started. No more clickbaiting, no more stalling. Okay. What's your love language for couples, singles, teens, and children? Take this quiz to discover how, your primary love language, what it means, and how you can use it to better connect with your loved ones. When you're finished, you can print, share, or save your results. <laughs> or share them on MySpace. The quiz is actually a plot for her to expose us all for being single. Oh no. <laughs> I mean... Okay, how would you describe yourself? I'm an adult, not a child. How would you describe yourself? In a relationship or single? sad <laughs> why is it calling me out it means it's more meaningful to me when someone i love sends me a loving message for no reason or i hug someone i love why are they using love already i think that's a bit too forward <clears throat> hmm i already kind of know what my love language is just based on like previous relationships and stuff why is my voice so hoarse Today's gonna be a lot of talking. I think yesterday I talked too much, too. Um, if you missed yesterday's stream, I did a full playthrough of a dating sim, so full VOD is up. Hmm. I think- okay, I, I need to, like, think about this because... Whenever I get, like, a text message, in my head, it's still sincere, but it's not as sincere as, like, somebody, like, telling me something in person, or, like, through a phone call, right? But I definitely love, like, hugs and stuff. But, okay. I'm a self-report, I'm a self-report. From a previous relationship, I still have pictures, I still have- We deleted our text logs, though. But I still have screenshots of, like, super sweet messages, and I remember I found them, because I was transferring my data from my- My Samsung S5 to my S9 a few- Like, two years ago? And I found, like, the screenshots? And I wasn't sad when I was reading them, um, because, like, the relationship didn't end on bad terms. There was nothing bad that happened. It was just we both had issues that we had to resolve separately, and we couldn't prioritize the relationship. So it wasn't like there was anything bad, but I was reading, like, the text messages that I screenshotted, and they were, like, so cute and so wholesome. And it's not like I was sad about it. It was kind of more, like, melancholy more than anything. But it doesn't mean anything more. Because, like, I very much like physical affection. Because I'm the type of person to where I need that reassurance, I guess. Like, I don't think I could ever do an online relationship. It would never work for me. Like, I need to have somebody near me. <clears throat> it's more meaningful to me when I can spend alone time. Alone time? <laughs> with someone I love just us. Or someone I love doing some someone I love does something practical to help me out. Mm. I, I think the keyword is more meaningful. Um, I definitely like spending time with those I care about, whether it be platonic or romantic. I think the more time you spend with somebody, the more you learn about them, 
and I think that is a really, like, pretty thing. But something practical in helping me out, as you guys know, I've been having, like, health complications, like, um, <clears throat> something that, like, stuck with me. I was hanging out with my friend, and we went out to lunch, and we were going from, like, the parking lot to the restaurant, and in order to get to the restaurant, there was, like, this big, like, outdoor, um, staircase that I had to go up, and they were, like, they were walking slower, they were using, like, their arm to, like, help support me walk, because there wasn't any railings. And it was just, like, a really, like, kind action that I didn't ask them to do, but they kind of knew what to do. This is a friend, okay? Um, but stuff like that, I think, because the, in, their, in, in their head, they're thinking about my well-being, and I think that's really kind. But I think there's a limit to what actions can do. Hmm. I'd have to say quality time, because I feel like that has more impact to me overall. <clears throat> okay. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love gives me a little gift as a token of our love, of uh, our love of concern for each other, huh? Or I get to spend uninterrupted leisure time with those I love. This is a nice playlist. Yeah, I just I just searched um, Valentine's Music Nintendo. And this was the first comp that came up. I don't necessarily like gifts. I don't like trinkets. I don't like clutter. I'm very practical in the sense of I feel like everything in my space has to have merit or utility. Like, I love cards. Because cards, there's usually like a little blurb of what they feel about you. Oh my god. Okay. So, um, from a previous relationship, we were together for Valentine's Day. We didn't get to celebrate on the day of, but we celebrated a few days later. And I gave, um, I gave them, like, a little bag of Hershey's Kisses. And then... <laughs> Do you like to check the playlist up before you use it? <laughs> I mean, it's on YouTube, so I don't think it'll be too crazy. I do skim the comments, that way I can see. Because usually if there is something wild, like, someone will comment it, like, a timestamp. But there was nothing sus in the comments, so... That's why I do YouTube. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> so... <laughs> this is actually really funny. <laughs> so, previous partner was a guy. Had her own no more relationship. Cringe. Um... But I, I got him, like, a little bag of kisses, and it was cute. Like, Hershey's kisses. And then, he got me a card. <laughs> And the card said, it was like a store-bought card, like I made him a card, but he bought a card. And on the card, on the front face, it said, to my dear husband. <laughs> and it's just so stupid, because he's a fucking dumb man. He couldn't read the goddamn card. And like, he didn't realize it till I pointed it out. He's like, I just thought it was a really pretty card. <laughs> But, like, I still remember it, and it's just so funny. But anyway, I like cards, I don't like gifts. Like, I'd very much like us to go shopping together to buy something. But un uninterrupted leisure time. I think quality time is better than gifts. Not gonna lie. Okay, it's more meaningful to me when someone I love does something unexpected for me to help with a project, or I can- <laughs> An innocent touch? <laughs> Or I can share an innocent touch with someone I love. What does the first option mean? Like, are they gonna help me build the desk? I think an innocent touch is nice. Like, I do love... I love forehead kisses. I like a hand on the waist. I'll take an innocent touch. Ooh! <laughs> Okay, it's more meaningful to me when someone I love puts their arm around me in public. Or someone I love surprises me with a gift. I hate gifts. I I will gladly... I love PDA. <clears throat> it's more meaningful to me when I'm around someone I love, even if we're not really doing anything. Or I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving. <laughs> or putting my arm around someone I love. I bro. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm 
thinking about the wording of the second option because I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving, putting my arm around someone I love. It, to me, obviously every, every individual person has their own personal boundaries on what they are comfortable with in terms of like PDA or physical affection. And to me, it needs to be communicated properly to where you can't just like touch somebody without asking even if you are together, even if it's like like an intimate or a more like wholesome innocent touch you still need to like establish whatever your partner is comfortable with but i think this means in the sense of like you physically comforting your partner and then vice versa because honestly i'm a very touchy person like with friends and stuff like as long as they're comfortable i don't mind like a like a arm holder or like out of mind hugs <laughs> i was gonna say cuddling but i've never cuddled with a friend i think that's a bit much do i kiss the homies no that's for my lovers only okay <clears throat> talking about kissing the homies i feel like it's a bit weird granted i never grew up in a household to where you would like kiss like your family members or anything because i feel like when people do it, and they're a popular figure, that to me, like, th there's clips of, like, um, like, Ludwig, like, kissing other male popular figures, and it's funny, but then it's also, like, to an extent queer baiting, and I don't think it's necessarily okay to... Because it feels like any time they do it, it's for a bit. And I feel like it's kind of like invalidating. I was gonna say queer existence, but I don't know if that's the right wordage. I, I don't know, I always feel indifferent about it. Especially when it's like being filmed. I, I feel weird about it. Yeah, I, I think it's fine to be affectionate with the friends, but I think there's a line. Um. But anyway, basically what I'm saying is that <laughs> I am I get very comfortable very quickly. So I, I think being able to be comfortable in the silence, I think is nice. <clears throat> it's more meaningful to me when I receive a gift from someone or I hear from someone I love that they love me. Hmm. I think saying the words I love you is... Like, I, okay, I think if someone says they love you to you in less than a month, I think that's a bit too forward. Like, it took a while to fe feel fully comfortable, because the phrase, I love you, has a lot of, like, weight, and I guess you could say trauma for me. So, it's not something that I say lightly. Like, it's something that I take very seriously. Uh, but I think being able to hear it genuinely from someone is very meaningful to me. <clears throat> it's more meaningful to me when I sit close to someone I love or I'm complimented by someone I love for no apparent reason. Hmm. I do like words of affirmation. I like being praised. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Mac. There's lines and it's all circumstantial depending on the individuals. <clears throat> it's more meaningful to me when I get the chance to just hang out with them or I unexpectedly get small gifts. I hate gifts. I hate gifts. If there's ever a gift option, I'm not clicking it. Unless there's two gift options, then that's kind of no. It's more meaningful to me when I hear someone I love tell me I'm proud of you, or someone I love helps with the task. Both of these are good. Or both of these I like. I think... Hmm. <laughs> I can't overshare, that's the problem. <laughs> I 
I'm very individualistic in the sense of I feel like I don't need help and I won't ask for it. Mm. It depends on the circumstance. I very much will do things on my own. I've never really had anyone say I'm proud of you. Me neither. That's why I like hearing it. I'm gonna say proud of you. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when I get to do things with someone I love or I hear supportive words from them. When I read the phrase, I get to do things, I think of like dates, and I don't necessarily like dates. Like, I do like hanging out with them, but we don't need to do like fantastical things. Especially when I now don't have the means to afford to go out, or even get a fucking coffee sometimes. Um, but I know for me, I have like a lot of internal dialogue in like self doubt, and I think. I can still, like, get out of those pitfalls whenever I do fall in them. It does take a while, but I think it's very important to, uh, to have someone who cares about you still vocalize their feelings occasionally, because um, I know I need reassurance, or to hear that reassurance from another sometimes. So I think supportive words is good. <clears throat> It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does things for me instead of just talking about doing nice things. Drama? <laughs> or I feel connected to someone I love through a hug. So I think the first one is talking about following through, like not being a flake essentially. Sorry, I'm like thinking about shit. It's not that I don't want to think about it, but it's just like, hmm. It's like dynamics and thoughts that I haven't like thought or faced in a while. You guys know I was in a relationship previously in like 2018. So I was 19 to 20 at the time. <clears throat> and it ended after, dude, it was so cringe. He broke up with me two weeks before our one year anniversary. Fucking cringe. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't thought about this shit in years. Guys, should I get a GF type one? Because the first one is talking about actions, and then the second one is talking about physical comfort. I'd have to say physical comfort, because I don't- because I'm very independent in the sense of like, I can do things on my own. Oh, I'm sorry, Meg. Damn. That sucks, dude. Okay, it's more meaningful to me when I hear praise or someone I love gives me something that shows they were really thinking about me. I'll take the praise. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't like gifts. I think also with gifts, it's like... Because, like, I always have this underlying doubt. I've said this before. I don't want to get married. I, I do think love is real. Okay, I'm not a doomer. But I genuinely don't think someone can be with someone for forever in the sense of... I talked about this in my um, painting TikTok. <laughs> um, follow my art TikTok, please. Uh, it, it was a video called um, People Come and Go. And I was basically explaining that you change throughout your life and so do the people you surround yourself with. And I, I genuinely don't think you can love and care for someone for years and years without facing some sort of hardship and being able to overcome that hardship and still maintain the same relationship where was i going with this <laughs> no i don't know today's supposed to be fun tomorrow's the heavy day shit talking about um sharing you can share your love stories in the chat by following because we are 30 minutes into stream so if you're new here click that follow button and if you're already following make sure you have notifications turned on <clears throat> okay 
It's more meaningful to me when I'm able to just be around someone, or I get a back rub. You know the cliche of, like, girlies asking for massages? Just saying they are pretty nice. And, like, the aftermath of a massage is very nice. <laughs> I think just being around them is good enough. <laughs> a massage is like a treat. <laughs> um, the aftermath? Shut up. Most of us are adults. <laughs> PG-13 chat. Okay. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love reacts positively to something I've accomplished or someone I love does something for me that I know they don't particularly enjoy. I'm always the one giving, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Damn. Why are you farming Sag's cokes? Come on. You'll find someone one day. I mean, don't feel like you also need a partner to be happy. Because self-love is important. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. All I can think of is like, <laughs> whenever I read the second one, all I can think of is like adult things. <laughs> and not gonna say anything but there was never anything that they didn't like so i'm gonna choose reacts positively <laughs> okay <laughs> um it's more meaningful to me when i'm able to be in close physical proximity or i sense someone i love showing interest in the things i care about Ooh, interesting <laughs> So it's like, do you like when you can be very, very close, or do you like if they can listen to your ramblings about your special interests for 10 minutes? Guys, I'm not on the spectrum, but I think I am. Anyway. I think it's also nice to, like, listen to somebody talk about something they're passionate about. In the sense of they're comfortable enough to share it with you. Because that's like an aspect of like emotional intimacy. So I think that overall is more important. Like even though I like physical comfort and stuff, I think sharing is nice. <clears throat> it's more meaningful to me when someone I love works on special projects with me. Or someone I love gives me an exciting gift. I've never gotten a gift. <laughs> okay. It's more meaningful to me when I'm complimented by someone on my appearance or someone takes their time to listen to me and really understand my feelings. I think emotional maturity is very important. Okay, I can share, it's more meaningful to me when I can share a meaningful touch in public. What is a meaningful touch? <laughs> or someone I love offers to run errands for me. We would just do the errands together. I think PDA is cute. Okay, it's more meaningful to me when someone I love does something s special for me to help out. Or I get a gift that someone I love put th thought into choosing. I hate the gift, so I'll obviously choose the other one. <clears throat> huh, what is this? It's more meaningful to me when someone I love doesn't check their phone while we're- Oh, while we're talking with each other, so they have your full attention, okay. Or someone I love goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure on me. <laughs> <laughs> what type of pressure? <laughs> um, I don't mind if people are on their phone much. Like, I don't care. Because I know I'm... I need that kind of, like... 
scapegoat, you could say, because just being in public sometimes is very overwhelming, so just, like, browsing the internet sometimes calms me down a little bit. I hate going out to dinner and someone has their phone out. I don't mind it. Um, because uh, I told you guys before, I'm going to say that a lot. But I get really anxious whenever I miss, like, a, a text or a phone call. So I usually, I keep my phone on the table just so I can see if I have, like, a notification. Because, um, it really bothers me if I can't talk to somebody if they need to talk to me, you know? But if we're, like, with each other and we're both, like, browsing, we would do it at the same time. And that's fine. What's my text ringtone? It's not the default. Pro tip. Whenever you get a new phone, always change your your um, call notifications and your ringtone and the the like message notification sound to the non-default. What is my ringtone? Wait, let's see. Can I play it? <clears throat> oh, it's not playing. Oh, I, had, I have sounds off. This is mine. That's it. It's the non-default. Oh, I gotta turn the sound back off. <laughs> I think it's so cringe when people leave their phone on during stream and you can hear, like, the do 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 <laughs> What is that boomer ringtone? That wasn't the ringtone. I didn't play the ringtone. Because I don't, I don't want you guys to know what that sounds like. Um, I'd have to say go out of their way to do something that makes me feel better. I think that's better. I don't know. Those were kind of like, eh. It's more meaningful to me when I can look forward to a holiday because I'll probably get a gift. Cringe. Or I hear the words, I appreciate you from them. Dude, I'm a sucker for praise. I'm a sucker. Oh, shit. Um, for any holidays, we didn't really do gifts because... Me and the previous partner, we didn't like gifts, really, so... Yeah. Um, it's more meaningful to me when someone I love and haven't seen in a while thinks enough to give me a little gift. Why so many gifts? Or someone takes care of something I'm responsible to do but I feel too stressed to do. Oh, that is a big one. If they take initiative to do something to help out, that's huge. Um, it's more meaningful to me when they don't interrupt me when I'm talking. Or gift giving is an important part of the relationship. I hate gifts. I I interrupt a lot and I feel bad and this is always something I have to communicate with anybody I interact with, like a partner or a friend. Because if I don't say what I'm thinking in the moment, I'm going to forget and it's going to bother me. So I don't care if people interrupt me in turn because I interrupt all the time. <clears throat> it's more meaningful to me when someone helps me out when they know I'm already tired or I get to go somewhere while spending time with them. Going places is nice. It's more meaningful to me when... Ooh. Someone I love touches my arm or shoulder to show their care or concern or someone I love gives me a little gift. Little touches are nice. Um, it's more meaningful to me when someone I love says something encouraging or I get to spend time in a shared activity or hobby. Hmm. One of my manager has her ringtone which goes, Hello, gorgeous! And she makes me giggle every time. That is pretty good. <laughs> I don't- I've never, like, used a custom ringtone. I've always used, like, the system ones. I think there was this one girl in my high school class. This was a super extra girl. She had her ringtone as the Kim Possible tone. Do 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 do. I think it was. <clears throat> Controversial, but I think it's good when you and your partner have like s s separate interests or hobbies. Because I think learning about someone else's interests is very cool. Similar to where if you have similar jobs, I feel like that can be a problem too. Because one thing that I really liked is like just hearing about what they do in their day or at their job or what they like to do. Not that I necessarily could do it with them, 
because it wasn't something I was interested in, but it's still nice hearing them go on and on about something they really like or care about. So I, I have to say encouraging words. <clears throat> okay, it's more meaningful to me when someone I love surprises me with a small token of their appreciation. Or <laughs> I'm touching someone I love frequently to express our friendship. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, is this a non-platonic quiz? Or is this a platonic one? Huh? <laughs> what? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, friendship, exactly. <laughs> I do, I'm very touchy. I'm, I'm clingy physically, but emotionally, I don't need constant attention. Okay, if your girl, or whatever, <laughs> demands that you text them back right away, that's toxic. If they get mad at you, if you don't reply instantly, that's toxic. You, you do not, you are not entitled to their attention all the time. But whenever I see a partner in person, I do like, I'm very clingy physically. Cause to me that physical reassurance is nice. <clears throat> okay, it's more meaningful to me when they help me out, especially if they know I'm busy or I hear them tell me that they appreciate me. Words of affirmation are nice. These are also similar, and it's it's obvious what my style is. It's obvious. It's more meaningful to me when I get a hug from someone whom I haven't seen in a while, or I hear someone I love tell them how much I mean to them. Or when I hear that they care, okay. Because I think there's a point in most relationships where you can... This is obviously something you can't really understand unless you experience it yourself. And because I never had a relationship when I was high school because I felt like I wasn't mature enough. But after experiencing what it's like to care for someone so deeply, you can kind of feel that care through touch. Because to me, love is both admiration but also hardship in the sense of you care about that person than you do yourself at times. And I think being able to hear physically or verbally along with physically that they care to the same degree is comforting. I'd have to say hearing that they care is nice. It's done! Okay. So your physical- or primary love language is words of affirmation. Dude, it's because I'm fucking- I'm insecure. <laughs> and I didn't get it a lot when I was younger, obviously. There's been studies done, like psych studies, um, that evaluate your upbringing, your childhood, your own personal morality and mentality, and how it affects your- the way you show and receive affection. And it's obvious! Everything during your fundamental years of childhood affects your adult mentality. And that's why I think it's so important to acknowledge that um, there are multiple forms of abuse, whether it be physical, there's financial, um, medical abuse, there's, there, there's a lot of levels to it. And they all affect how, um, how you conduct yourself as an adult and also how you view social dynamics as an adult that's why if anybody has kids or it will have kids you have to understand that you have to make sure that you are able to raise a child in a way to where they will love themselves even beyond it's wild yeah but yeah, it's fine we're not talking about that today today's a fun day today's a fun stream tomorrow we're gonna get heavy you crashed the quiz thank you I mean, I was trying to explain, because that's what kind of today is, we're kind of explaining my perspectives on things. Because what I do like a lot about 
these types of topics is that it gives a little bit more insight into my personality, but it also... It can be reassuring to some people who may have felt similarly. Because I know it's, it's very comforting to hear, like, someone, whether it be, like, online or in person, be able to relate to an extent. Um, anyways, let's review this. <laughs> um, words of affirmation, 33%. Obvi. Quality time, 30. Physical touch, 23. Interesting. I personally thought physical touch would be the, the highest. Acts of service, 13. Receiving gifts, 0. <laughs> uh, I don't like gifts. I don't like gifts. Um, words of affirmation. Actions don't always speak louder than words. If this is your love language, unsolic unsolicited comments mean the world compliments mean the world to you hearing the words i love you cringe are important hearing the reasons behind that love sends your spirit skyward insults can leave you shattered and not easily forgotten you thrive on hearing kind and encouraging words that build you up i mean it makes sense i think when you have a lot of internalized self-doubt it's very easy to kind of crave that positive validation so it makes sense makes sense not surprised Okay, next quiz! <laughs> okay, so this one is another love style test. Let's see if I answer the same thing again. Okay, that was long. That took 40 minutes. Oopsie. Guys, it's gonna be a long stream. I lied. Um. Okay, the seven love styles test. Discover your unique styles for showing love. Okay, this free quiz reveals how you prefer to give and receive love. The concept of love languages was created by couples counselor Dr. Gary Chapman, who observes that people differ in what sort of interactions make them feel loved. Dr. Chapman described five love languages. However, our research on over 500,000 volunteers indicates that there are actually seven distinct ways of showing love. This quiz measures your preference for all seven of these modern love styles. Okay. Let's, can I zoom in? Oh, I can zoom in. Yay. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Oh, you can only do one checkbox. I feel most love when my partner tells me how important I am to them, when they give me kisses and hugs, or brings me a special treat just because. Oh, wait, I do like giving gifts. I've realized. I hate getting gifts, but I love giving. Like, I'll, I'll make, like, little treats or cards. Oh, something that was really cute was there was one... This is the previous part. I've only been in one relationship, so this is all. I only... I'm very... I'm a noob, okay? I feel like I have the emotional maturity, but I just, I'm just too scared. I'm scared. And there was one time we were walking home. Because we would walk home from work together. Or they worked late, but then I would go to their work and walk home with them. Um, there was one time we were walking home, and there were these... I think I still have it, actually. Um, there was these... It's called Queen Anne's Lace, I think? But it's these white flowers that kind of plume out like this, and they're very small. And I remember I picked it- <laughs> I picked one for him, and he's like, why are you doing that? And I was like, I'm trying to be cute! So then, um, he kept it in his wallet the whole time. And then also he picked another one for me that same day, and then I I put it in a little jar. And then... Because if you put stuff in a jar, there's no air, it won't wilt. Or it won't, like, mold. And then I put, like, a little heart... I had, like, a little wooden heart piece that I put in the jar, too. Anyway. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's not moldy. If I could show you guys, I would show it, but I don't know where it is. It's in my closet somewhere. Okay. I feel most special to my partner when they make room in our budget for the items that are important to me, share what they appreciate about me, or like to do things with me in their spare time. I don't need items. I can, I, I can buy whatever I want for myself. Words of affirmation are nice, but I think spending time with them is the most important. I feel best about my relationship when my partner tells me they are proud of me, invites me to spend time with them, or looks after our children or other family members. Huh? Our kids? Oh? <laughs> what? I ain't never having kids. It ain't happening. Uh, 
I'm stuck between these two. Because, like, I don't like asking people to spend time with me because I'm so scared of rejection. Like, it takes a lot of, like, mental courage for me to ask somebody to hang out. I think being told that they're proud of being nice is nice. I don't know. Both of them are difficult. I feel most loved when my partner cooks a meal for me. Praises my personal qualities or cuddles. Oh, cuddles are nice. They are nice. I feel special when my partner makes me feel safe, flirts with me, or spoils me. I feel special. I think special is the key word here. Makes me feel safe. That That's like emotional comfort and maturity. But then flirting. Flirting is fun. <laughs> I love flirting. I, th I think I'll choose flirting just to be fun. You're planning to ask someone to hang out? Is it just hanging out? Wink? Okay. My partner can best show love to me by finding fun things for us to do together, supporting me when I'm feeling down, which is every day, let's be honest, <laughs> or buying things I cannot afford myself, which is me, I'm broke. <laughs> um... I think emotional support is very important. I think being able to be vulnerable with someone, I think, is a very intimate thing. So, yeah. I just want to go to the thrift shop. Do take me. I'm kidding. I feel closest to my partner when... They take care of chores I dislike, include me in their hobbies and interests, or comfort me when I'm worried or anxious. Dude, I am so fucking depressed all the time. Okay, next up. <laughs> <laughs> the stream is so comforting. I wish you can stay and watch the whole thing. Aw. It's okay, Coax. We will see you later, man. Thank you for hanging out for a little bit. VOD will be up, so you can watch it later. But bye. It's so cute. I love when you guys say hi and bye to each other. It's adorable. I feel best about my relationship when my partner shares their true thoughts and opinions with me, runs errands for me, or puts their arms around me. Feels best about my relationship. I think emotional intimacy is very important in a relationship if you want it to last long term. So I think this is the most reassuring thing out of everything. I feel closest to my partner when they... Help me with my to-do list, praise my achievements, or discuss important decisions with me. I feel closest. I think discuss important decisions because that shows that they respect and value my perspective. And that's kind of tying into emotional maturity. And intimacy. I, whenever I say emotional intimacy, I mean the ability to be vulnerable and transparent with your partner, which I think is very important. It does take time to develop that trust, but I do think it is important. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to click. I feel special when my partner values my opinion, encouraging me, encourages me when I'm having difficulty, or buys me presents. I feel special. I'm gonna say values my opinion. It's kind of tying back into the previous question. It shows that they respect you. I'd most like my partner to show love by thanking me for the things I do for them, listening to me talk about difficult issues I'm dealing with, or spending money on me. I'm an anxious bitch. <laughs> I feel most loved with my partner. Let's me vent when I'm under stress. Shows that they find me desirable. Or plans activities for us to do together. I'm gonna be honest. Being known that you're wanted and desired is a very nice feeling. <laughs> 
that I didn't understand until I was in a relationship. Like, I gained so much confidence in my outward appearance when I was with that person. Because as you guys know, I don't wear makeup. You know, I don't... I don't really do anything to dull myself up. Because I don't give a fuck. Because I think being able to be a bear, like, bear face is a very, like, brave and courageous thing to do. I don't think you need to add anything for people to appreciate you and how you look. I understand there's a lot of weight and um, societal stigma to those who don't wear makeup or there's a lot of pressure to feel like you need to. And if it makes you feel more confident, go for it. But it's kind of not something that... I, I still had like that underlying feeling that I had to like cover up or anything to make myself feel wanted or desired by someone. But that previous partner never made me feel that way. And I was, this was years ago, but I'm at my heaviest weight. Or I was at my heaviest weight when we were together. I was like, I was five pounds more than what I weigh now. So I'm basically at my heaviest again. But they still made me feel like I was beautiful and appreciated for how I was. Like, I never felt like I hated my body. Even growing up, I was, like, very self-confident in, in that sense. But knowing that someone wanted to be with me, even when I looked the way you did, or I did, was very comforting. How did y'all meet? <laughs> uh, we met at work. Cringe. <laughs> It was honestly so cute. Um, I didn't tell the story of how we met. I've told it on stream before. But we met at work, and then we became friends, and then we went out. And then we had to keep it a secret at work. Because I we were both, like, regular crew members. But then I was promoted to manager, so then we couldn't tell anybody that we were dating. But then they got a new job, like, three months after we started dating. So it wasn't a problem. Um... But yeah, don't date your co-workers. Don't do it. <laughs> but I did. Don't do it. I'll, I won't do it again. Okay. My partner can best show love to me by joining me in activities we both enjoy, planning a special surprise, or giving me praise. Dude, I'm a sucker for praise. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. I feel closest to my partner when they learn about my hobbies, touch me affectionately, oh, do chores to help me out. Okay, keyword closest. Keyword closest. I do like touches. <laughs> what type of touches? I won't say... I feel most love with my partner. Helps me get things done, shares their true thoughts and opinions, or puts their arm around me. Uh, emotional intimacy is important. I feel best about my relationship when my partner thanks me for the things I do for them, shows that they find me attractive, or discusses important decisions with me. Okay, best about my relationship. I think discuss important decisions with me um, shows that they find me attractive is important to me like in the sense of like you could say like flirting or initiating intimacy <laughs> sorry it, it says this is so weird like talking about this like so not frankly because I don't want to be like too vulgar but I think like there, there's obviously levels of, like, comfort and int intimacy. Not necessarily everyone wants to have, like, sex early on or whatever. But I think that is important to some. Not gonna say if it's important to me. <laughs> but you know what is important to me? Running fucking ads. Because, guys, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing almost long. Or... 
You can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Um, if you give to sub, I will eat a chocolate. Ain't no way. Um, if you have to watch that ad, no problem. Fill out that quiz that's linked or pinned to my profile. It takes three minutes. Watch the ad. By the time you get done, ads will be done. Ads will be over. Anyway, get boomed. <clears throat> Are you guys having fun? I don't think I've ever been this vulnerable on stream before. I don't care. I'm not going to talk about anything I don't want to talk about. So. Yeah, cool. Okay. Back to it. I feel special when my partner... If I use my opinion, listens to me talk about my problems, or buys me special gifts. I feel special. I'd have to say values my opinion. I feel like a lot of these questions are just rehashing or rearranging different options next to each other. Okay, I feel most love when my partner shares their plans and dreams. Plans activities for us to do together or runs errands for me. Shares their plans and dreams. I feel like that's talking about our future. And I don't like thinking too far ahead. Because, as I said earlier, I genuinely don't want to get married. I don't think anybody can be committed to somebody for forever without changing. And being able to have dynamics that are, you're able to overcome. So I don't like talking about... The future. And I'm usually the one who plans activities. Because I like... I like being in control in that sense. Because I feel like if I... Like if anybody... If anybody does like a surprise date, I would lose my mind. Because whenever I plan somewhere that I want to go, I have to look up how to get there because I can't drive. I like to look at the menu so I know I can get a kind of idea of what they have there. Um, I like to know like when we're going to be home. Because there's so much anxiety in the unknown. So if anybody ever does like a surprise birthday party or a surprise date, I, no, no, I would, I would hate it. So if we're going to plan something, do it together is my opinion. Or runs errands. I think runs errands out of these three. They're all kind of crummy. So I'll, I'll do run errands. Okay, the headband is hurting my head. I feel best about my relationship when my partner lets me vent when I'm stressed, listens to my ideas and opinion, or holds my hand. I'll say holds my hand. Because best about the relationship... Um... As I said earlier, everybody has their own personal boundaries of what they think is what they're comfortable with for, like, PDA and stuff, but I think holding hands in public is reassuring. I feel, I feel appreciated by my partner when they give me recognition for my achievements, plan a big surprise, I hate surprises, I just said I hate surprises, or joins me in hobbies. I like praise, I like being recognized for what I can do. I feel closest to my partner when they take care of me when I'm not feeling well, plan future goals with me, or do chores around the house. I never lived with my partner. Anyway. Oh, when we were playing the game yesterday, when, like, uh, Mallory, the, the Leventrist, was feeling sick, taking care of somebody when they're sick is so cute. I would love for that to happen. But I never get sick, so it will never happen. I low-key miss the game. See, I told you. This is why I don't want to play dating sims, because I'm going to fall deep into that pit hole and just never play anything else. And just romanticize the idea of being in a relationship, but I probably can't handle one. Anyway. Hmm. I'll do taking care of me when I'm sick. I just think it's cute. Bubbles! Finally something different. I've gotten the urge to get one, but I know I can't. I will slip seat. Exactly, that's how I am too. Dude, this headband hurts. It hurts. It's like too tight. 
<laughs> my big brain. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Your partner had a hard day at work. What will you do to support them? Rank each action based on how likely you would be able to do this for your partner. <laughs> There's a lot of things I'd do. <laughs> okay. Encourage them to talk about it and listen compassionately. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's the, That'd be the first thing I'd do. Ask them about what happened and help them problem solve. That'd be the first thing I'd do. Clean the house and make dinner? I'm not a no-housewife. <laughs> but I would make dinner anyway. I wouldn't do that just to make them feel better. Because I think the societal standard that women have to be the housewife, even though it's normal for like women to have like a full-time job so i think it's bad when men have like the same amount of work hours but they don't help around the house i think that's bad you're not equal you're not putting equal effort into the relationship it's different if like the the wife stays at home and doesn't have a job because then she has ample time to do the housework because housework if you're looking at hours per week it's essentially part-time so yeah that's that's and if you think about it, it's only recently in the past, like, 60-ish years to where it was normalized for women to have um, full-time jobs or a wage that's equivalent to what the husband would make. So it's unfair for men to still expect women to do all the housework or take care of the kids when they are doing the same amount of work hours as the husband. I, I, had to, I had this argument with a friend the other day because we were just talking about like social dynamics and they were saying well if I get a wife one day I want her to like stay home and do all the housework and I was like hey can you explain that and then I, I brought up the argument I was like well what if she has a full-time job and then he was like okay well I, I get what you're saying now I'm like yeah exactly like you can't expect someone to do something like I had to kind of like break down why they had that kind of like biased thought because otherwise, they're pretty feminist. But then when it came to that, they were kind of like, well, I think she should still stay at home. And I was like, well, no. Yeah, anyway. Back to it. Suggest like spending the evening doing something fun together. <laughs> like what? <laughs> There's a lot of ways to have fun. <laughs> I'll, I'll put second likely. Because I would still like want to make sure they're okay. You know? But then to have some fun. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Holy! Give them a big hug and then offer a massage. <laughs> um. Obviously, I would hug them when they walk in the door. I think offering a massage is a bit much because I don't do that. I like receiving. Let's do second unlikely. It's your partner's birthday. How will you celebrate? Book a table at a fancy restaurant and get them a nice gift. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Because I think I've never gone to a super fancy restaurant, and I feel like there's so much pressure. And also, I'm broke. Because when I was in the relationship, I had more money than them in the sense of I had less financial obligations, so I had more spending money. I died in. Can we get some yos? Arrange to spend time together in a place they love to visit. Oh, that'd be adorable. Um, write them a personal note or card telling what you love most about them. Yeah, but I will. I will always do cards. Cards are always a go-to. Um, take care of all the chores for the day so they can relax. I I ain't no wifey, okay? No, I ain't no wifey. They can do their own goddamn chores. <laughs> Uh-oh. You and your partner have been distant lately. How do you try to reconnect? Tell them how much you love them and appreciate them. Obvi? Obvi? But I feel like you should do that somewhat regularly. Um. Ask them how they've been feeling about your relationship. Oh, that's, that's too much. That's like asking, do you want to break up? <laughs> that's a can of words you don't want to open too bluntly like that. Um, plan some time together, do an activity that you both enjoy. Yeah, I feel like that'd be reasonable. <laughs> Try to get close physically with cuddles or intimate contact. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, like, that should work. <laughs> nah, I don't know, I don't know. But I, okay. If this is talking about, like, is this TOS? No. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Um... I think if you are struggling with getting physically intimate with a partner, then that needs to be addressed, but you can't force it. Now, I will say, I never had a problem initiating, or if there was any lack of intimacy in a previous relationship, so I never experienced this, because not gonna lie, we were all over each other. Um, but I think if it does diminish, then that's something that you would need to discuss first. You can't just initiate intimacy and hope that it that it will happen. Like, you know the cliche, like, middle-aged housewife to where she's, like, putting roses on the bed or something and waiting for her husband to get home? Like, you can't force it. There's, there's always going to be an underlying reason why it's not happening as much. House husband, nice. <laughs> okay. You notice your partner going above and beyond in your relationship lately. How do you show your appreciation? Offer to join them in one of their favorite hobbies or activities. Yeah, I guess. Treat them with an unexpected splurge, like a spa day, a fancy night out, or take it to a sport event. I would probably do that. If I could afford it, I'd probably do that. I'm surprised them by completing some chores that are usually their responsibility. No, they can do their own fucking chores. Explain what their actions mean to you and just how much you appreciate it. Yeah. Verbally tell them, give them, give them kisses or physical affection. I mean, I feel like you would do that normally. Not like I would do it anymore. No, you and your partner disagree about a big decision you have to make. How do you show your commitment to the relationship? Hmm. Make an effort to be physically close to them, even if things feel tense. Hmm. This is assuming we had a fight. I would say trying to get close to them is probably not the best option. You don't want to use intimacy as a scapegoat. Or to avoid not confronting something. Um, calmly discuss the pros and cons and express that you value your partner's opinions. Obviously, obviously, if you don't do that shit, you're you're dumb. Or just too immature. Um, validate your partner's feelings on the issue and acknowledge the difficulty of being in a disagreement. Mmm, is this kind of like saying, I understand what you're saying, but I hate that we're fighting. It's not the best. Because that, that's showing... I don't think you should say that I don't like that we're fighting because that to me says that you you saying that don't know how to communicate properly because I've never gotten in a fight there's been like I call them debates because in any time where there could have been a fight we still communicated and listened to each other because if you can't communicate and if you're not willing to listen to the other person then it, you are the person who's not communicating properly. You are causing things to escalate or fight. So I think in this case, saying that you don't like fighting in the argument is the problem. You are not helping. And there's obviously a difference if the other person isn't being receptive to what you're saying. But still pointing out that, oh, I don't like that we're fighting is not helping. I wouldn't say that. Let them know how much you appreciate their knowledge and insight on the matter. Mm. It's like, I hear you. I understand what you're saying, but you're still a dumbass. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, the best. I think these two, call me, discuss the pros and cons, and let them know you appreciate their opinion is 
is important. Mm. I don't know. It because like everybody has like different thresholds on what they're like willing to share when it comes to like fighting what they it also depends on what you're talking about with them. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Your partner confesses that they hate their job. How do you give them support? Offer to support them financially if they want to quit. Ooh. If I'm a rich bitch, yeah, fucking quit. You should do something that makes you happy or something that isn't too horrible to get by. But if I, if I can let them be a wifey? Yeah. And focus on yourself a little bit. If I can financially do that, I would offer that. Honestly. Okay, help them figure out strategies to deal with the issues they're having. Yeah, obviously. You want to be able to help them be able to navigate issues on their own. Um, sympathize with the stress they're going through. I feel like you should do that. Be a nice, kind, empathetic person? Question mark? Offer to take on... Offer to take on more of the responsibility at home so they can have more time to decompress. Okay, this is assuming they do chores in the first place. <laughs> no, I think they should still do the same amount. Like, I'm still stressed as fuck. They can do their own chores. And compliment them on their strength and persistence in working through this difficult time. Yeah, you need to validate that they're doing a good job. Okay, final section. <clears throat> Your partner shares that they are feeling overwhelmed by their responsibilities. How do you help out? Offer to hire someone to help them. A housekeeper, babysitter, assistant. Okay. Is it weird that I've never liked the idea of a housekeeper? Like, even if I had money. Honestly, housework isn't that bad. I think a lot of it comes down to, like, your own, I guess, mental workload in the sense of there are some days where, like, I can clean the whole house. And then there's some days where I, I just don't want to do the dishes. And then there's also days where I physically can't stand to do the dishes. So, I don't think maintaining the household is difficult if you don't have kids. But if you have kids... Those are more people, more mess, more time, more meal prep, more cooking, more trash. So I think it would only really make sense to hire a housekeeper if you have kids. Otherwise, I feel like you should be able to do your own chores. It's not that bad. And it is also hard to like find a housekeeper that you can trust. Because you don't know if they will steal. You don't know if they will... Um, S.A. or harm. You don't know if they'll do a good job. Like, actually doing the housework. So. If I had kids, then maybe. But otherwise, if we're grown-ass adults with no kids, we don't need a housekeeper. Um, take on some of their tasks to lighten their load. Yeah, if they- if, yeah. If, they, if they're saying that they're getting overwhelmed, then yeah, I would- I would offer at that point. Um, empathize with their feelings and stress and assure that them that everyone feels overwhelmed sometimes. Yeah, you, you have to reassure them. Like, you have to validate what they're feeling. Um, help them figure out ways to be more efficient or effective with their workload. When somebody is telling you that they're feeling overwhelmed, they don't want advice. So, I would probably not do that, but if they ask for how to do better, then I would probably offer. Because they're feeling overwhelmed by their responsibilities. Eh. That implies, like, work and home life. So I would not- I would not backseat game their workload. Unless they want me to. I'm offered to join in on some of their tasks to make the work more enjoyable. I don't like doing chores together. It's cute, but I don't like doing it together. Because if I'm working with somebody, 
um, I'm always hyper focused on what they're doing. Like there was a few times where me and my partner would make like dinner together and I would always be worried about them. <laughs> um, I'd be worried about them like not using the right utensils or making a mess. So I would say probably not. I'd rather just do things on their own. Like I would still offer to maybe do more of their chores, but I wouldn't want to do them together. Ooh, it's date night. What do you do to make it special? <laughs> Give them lots of compliments. Yeah, I do that anyway. Um, splash out. Splash out? What? Splash out on an expensive dinner or event? I'm a brokey. I can't afford that. Plan ahead with conversation topics that'll interest and engage your partner. Why the fuck would I do that? I bring my cue card to a date. I hide it under the table. They look at me. Are you texting? I'm like, no. I'm looking at my cue cards. <laughs> um, make time and space to be physically intimate. <laughs> um, we would do that anyway. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I'm getting... Uh, <laughs> or choose an activity that is fun for both of you. Yeah, I guess. But it's a date night for them. I don't what? <laughs> Guys, I'm single. I mean, you could just plan in your head. I guess. You're dating someone new. Oh no. Oh no. Sag. Too real. How do you show you're interested? Encourage them to open up about their emotions to you. Obviously, you don't want to confess if you don't think they'll like you back. Pay for dates and buy them unexpected gifts. I think somebody- I think you should take- if you're dating someone, you should take turns paying or go halvesies. <laughs> Touch them frequently and get physically close. Obviously, you gotta flirt. Offer to help them with everyday errands and chores. Wait, we're dating. What? What? No. Why would you be helping around the house if you're dating, huh? Ask their opinion on important issues. Oh, obviously, you need to see if they're a fucking dummy Republican before. Okay? Because, um, obviously there will be, um, perspectives and things you don't agree on, but I think there are some things you can't agree, or you can't disagree on if it's associated with, like, certain politics and identity. Like, I don't think I could pursue anybody if they were very, had a very mean ideology towards, like, homeless people, because there's been some takes that I've seen where it's like, oh, we should jail the homeless or all the homeless people should die. And it's like, no, because obviously if you think that way, it shows that you lack empathy because a lot of the times, not a lot of people who are homeless voluntarily choose to be homeless, no matter, and a lot of the time it's due to unfortunate, unfortunate circumstance, also generational wealth or, or where you grew up. Um, it can come down to like losing your job randomly. A lot of people who are homeless don't necessarily live on the streets. A lot of them, um, are living in the cars or couch hopping, so you can't immediately dehumanize a marginalized group of people. Anyway, so yeah. You, I think you should feel somebody out before you try to pursue them seriously. Show my results! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry, <laughs> intellectual, holy. I didn't know about that, okay. The seven love styles. The concept of love languages was created by couples therapist, Dr. Gary Chapman, who noticed that individuals had different preferences in how they like to give and receive love. Oh wait, this is just the same paragraph that was at the start of the quiz. Okay, so I had majority intellectual 67, physical 56, Appreciation, 45. Emotional, 45. 
activity 11, practical 11, and zero financial. So majority intellectual and physical for me. Surprising. What is intellectual? Is that Was that like all the questions related to like emotional maturity? Or intimacy? Okay. Intellectual. People with the intellectual love language like to connect through their mind. My big brain in my busted skull. <laughs> They feel loved when their partner values their intelligence, respects their opinion, and takes part in thoughtful discussion of important issues. Yeah, I'm not gonna date a dumbass. <laughs> or someone who isn't emotionally in tune with themselves. What was actually surprising about the person I was with previously, he was very emotionally mature and sound for a guy. It was weird. In the sense of, I thought I'd face a lot of difficulties communicating, but they were- he was very good at communicating. It was very surprising. Um, okay. Physical. People with a physical love language feel loved when they receive physical affection, hugs, holding hands, and snuggles. They want their partners to show they're attracted to them and initiate loving touch. True, I do appreciate that. Emotional. Those who focus on emotional love language feel loved when their partner is able to connect with them and support them through difficult and scary emotions. Being present for the highs and lows is very important to those with the emotional love language. True. Appreciation. People who focus on the appreciation love language feel loved when their partner gives them compliments, praise, and thanks. They appreciate hearing explicitly what their partner likes and admires about them. Yeah, feeling verbally validated. True. <coughs> Practical. Um, people with the practical love language feel loved when their partners chip in with everyday duties and responsibilities. They feel cared for when their loved ones do chores and offer help. That's honestly not too important to me. People who focus- or activity. People who focus on the activity love language feel special and valued when their partner takes an interest in their hobbies and activities and makes an effort to enjoy hobbies and interests together. I don't care. <laughs> oh, unlock my full report? 13 pages of personalized insights? Holy! <laughs> okay, let's just read the synopsis. Oh my god, 13 pages? Probably like 10 bucks. Okay, your primary love style intellectual. I have a big brain. <laughs> okay, people with the intellectual love style like to connect through the mind. They feel loved when their partner values their intelligence, respects their opinion, and takes part in thoughtful discussion of important issues. While the intellectual love style includes a desire to spend quality time together, it focuses more specifically on a meeting of minds and valuing each other's intelligence. People with intellectual as their dominant love style seek a partner who asks for their opinion, but they care about what they have to say. This, part, this type is likely to enjoy deep conversations about things that matter to them and a partner who will happily debate ideas. Literally, literally, literally. I am such a debate Andy. <laughs> okay. You feel most loved when your partner takes a deep interest in what you say and how you think, respects and values your opinions, and wants to think with you about things that matter. I guess that is right. That is true. I do appreciate that. Such a deep, because yeah, this one was crazy. This one went a lot more in depth than I thought it would. I'm glad I chose more heavy ones. Talking about heavy things, um, you can join in on the discussion if you follow the channel. Um, you get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Click that follow button now. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications turn on that we don't miss a single stream. Okay, so I have fun ones now. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> now that you guys have seen the... Now you guys have seen my inner psyche. We won't talk about it ever again. So let's have some fun. Um, what kind of valentine are you, Quiz? <laughs> Dude, so many ads. Okay. What kind of movie do you like to watch? Anything with blood, guts, and gore? Ones with happy romantic endings? Something that will make me laugh and maybe cry at the end. Sure. I love laughing and crying. I just noticed the hearts light up. Yeah, this this thing was five bucks. And I felt bad because when I bought it from the Safeway, 
I grabbed the display one by accident so it didn't have a barcode, so the lady at the soul checkout had to run and grab another one. I was so embarrassed. Ain't it cute? Mine is $5 just for one stream. Guys, can we get a gifted sub? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding! Unless... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, don't. Okay. Which of the following songs appeals to you most? At last, my love has come along. Love stinks, or why can't we be friends? I don't know what any of these are. Huh? I literally don't know what any of those are. Okay. What are you gonna eat on Valentine's Day? Surf and turf, in that order. Okay, I know when you eat certain things, it affects your, let's say, body makeup. <laughs> so the only thing I could think about was surf and turf. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, surf and turf in that order. Fancy French food or garlic, stinky cheeses, and raw onions. Um... I do love me some seafood. <laughs> oh no, do you have a significant other? Do I? Okay. I love my boo. It's complicated or screw that. I will being single rocks. Sad. Guys, okay, should I get a GF type one? <clears throat> What kind of Valentine cards did you give out in elementary? Whatever cartoon was popular at the time. I didn't give out cards or heart flowers, kisses, and the occasional unicorn. <laughs> we got her, chat. <laughs> nah, I told you. If I ever am, like, with somebody, I wouldn't tell you guys. So I'm just gonna put single every time. You guys don't know if I'm single or not. You'll never know. Until I get married, which I'm never getting married, so you guys will never know. Um, the only reason why... I think it is cute, like, when people post about their relationships, but I don't think I ever will. Even when I was with that person, I didn't post about it because I feel like there's always some level of- Oh, welcome back, Cokes. <laughs> Sorry. There's always, like, a level of- um, I think it's performative when people post about their relationships because you always see the, the post being like, Oh, we broke up! But then it's like, and people wonder why, like, they, you're only gonna want to show the positive parts, right? You're not gonna show yourselves, like, fighting or having disagreements. So, in my head, I'm just, I'm just not gonna post anything. I won't post anything. I didn't really take pictures either when we were together. Like, I have a few, but I didn't, like, intentionally pose for pictures. The only pictures I have of that person were just... What's it called? What's it called when they don't pose? Like, just still life? I know it's not called that, but what's it called? Stoic? No. Because, like, I have a picture of them sitting on a sidewalk. I have one cuddling kittens because their cat had kittens, and that was cute. Like, I would still ask them if I could take a picture, but I would never have them pose, because I feel like posing is so fake. Um. Wait, why am I talking about this? <laughs> Um, I would- I would- I would get, like, Spongebob Valentines. I would always get cartoon ones, because those were fun in elementary. Yeah, like you're saying, Kobobo, like, you would make a Valentine's Day box, and then you would just buy, like, a 50 cardboard box set of Valentines, and then you're set. Ooh, what do red roses mean to you? Romantic love and passion, a sweet gesture of love, or thorns and a waste of money? I've never gotten flowers, guys. I've never wanted flowers. I posted a clip about this on my TikTok the other day, and it was it was basically me explaining why I think flowers are cringe and I don't want them. And then somebody commented, I think the reason why people give flowers or gifts is because it's something that the person would never get themselves, and it blew my mind. So what I'm saying now is that I want flowers. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't want flowers. <laughs> 
Trust me, flowers are nice. Yeah. I don't know. I think it, it, it is a cute gesture. I would have, like, last week I would have answered thorns and wasted money, but now after reading that one comment, I'm like, yeah, it's cute. It's sweet. <laughs> what is the most romantic gift you've ever received? Roses and a box of chocolates? A six pack of tacos or every gift my sweetie gives me is more romantic than the last. I've never really gotten any gifts. It's because I told my partner if I want anything I'll buy it for myself. I, I would always tell them I just want a card. I would say a six pack of tacos because they would always buy me food though because I like food <laughs> okay what is your romantic philosophy you want me to make or you want me what what you make me want to be a better man oh this is is this a male POV ew we'll always have Paris or love is like a horse-drawn carriage right it seems romantic at first but eventually you realize you're cold Ooh, a doomer Okay, I've always thought it cringe when people say, you make me want to be a better person. I think that's cringe. Because I feel like you should be able to have that willingness on your own. But like, I don't want to be a doomer. I don't want to be a doomer. <laughs> Who is Hollywood's ultimate leading man? What? Okay, not gonna lie. I don't like celebrities. I don't think a lot of celebrities are hot. I know everybody is like sipping for Tom Holland, but I'm just like, I don't get it. It's because for me, I can like, yes, be physically attracted to someone, but I have to like genuinely care for them and then they have to care for me in order to like, like them. The only celebrity I had like a little crush on was Jensen Ackles. Like Jensen Ackles in like the first early seasons of Supernatural, oh my God. But otherwise, I'm like, I don't care. I don't know. Okay. Which of the following sounds like the best Valentine's Day ever to you? Sitting on the couch eating popcorn and watching Curb Your Enthusiasm? Dancing with my friends to a hip band? Dining out and getting a hotel for the night? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Holy. Um, I'm trying to think. For the Valentines that we did spend together. <laughs> smash. <laughs> I mean, we would do that all the time anyway. I mean, fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Wait, there was an Automon message? <laughs> Sorry, Cokes. I just saw it, Lomao. <laughs> I am on my incel arc. Um, <laughs> um, for the Valentine's we did spend together, we went out for like a weekend trip. So, I guess the third response is the most accurate, question mark? <gasps> oh my god, I completed the quiz! You got your lighthearted Valentine. You treat the day of love as it should be treated. You are a lover who stresses openness and honesty, true. You value physical intimacy, but respect your date's feelings despite that. What? Is that saying I respect consent, as everyone should? Anyway, you're all about fun, flirting, and the finer things of life, honestly. You are happy both in a pizza parlor and a gourmet restaurant. True, though. True. I told... I told my partner, I was like, we can literally... We can literally go to McDonald's. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> I was gonna take that today, but we'll save that for Pride Month. <laughs> um, I, I told them, I was like, literally, we can go to McDonald's and hang out. I don't give a fuck. Like, as long as we're spending time, time together, I'm happy. Next quiz! <gasps> Will I have a Valentine this year? Oh, wait. This is assuming I have a crush. I don't have a crush. Because I don't see anybody. I was talking about this with my friend the other day, 
But I was, because I was feeling sad. I was like, you know, I don't leave my house that much. I, I don't go to traditional school. I don't have money to go out and do shit. So I was like, how am I going to make friends? And they were like, one day you will when you have a job. But then it's like, how am I going to have a job if I can't walk? And then they're like, well, GG's. And I was like, true. Anyway. <laughs> Enough sad posting. Okay. How long do you spend with your- Oh, <laughs> stop. Okay, how long do you spend with your crush per day? Not much, because I don't have a crush. I don't have a crush. Bumble. <laughs> don't you need to pay to be on Bumble? Okay, does your crush notice- Okay, well, okay. I will- I will answer this in the, the headspace of me pinning for a partner, okay? Me pinning for them. Um, does your crush notice you if you say hi? Yeah, because we were friends before we went out. Oh, was, I thought Bumble was premium. Nah, I don't think I'd ever do dating apps. Like I said, I need to, like, be close with them before I want to pursue them. Because I think, like, relationships are trust, and I don't think I could initiate intimacy if I don't trust someone. That's why I don't- I don't- I think people can hook up with people, and that's fine, I'll give a fuck. But not for me. Because I don't want to get SA'd. Anyway. Did you ever kiss your crush? <laughs> um. Why would you kiss your crush before you go out? Because, like, what if... That's another thing I don't like about casual dating. It's like, what if they're, like, banging other people? And that's how STDs spread. And I think if you're gonna pursue somebody casually, you have to tell them if they're banging other people or dating other people. I don't want STDs. Um. <laughs> yes, yeah, so awesome and more than once. <laughs> no, we, we will never will. No, but we're getting there. Yeah, because... Funny story, funny story. Um, uh, with the previous partner. It was so cute. Be uh, you guys know the story. I- wait, did I- I actually posted the story on my TikTok this morning. Go watch the clip, guys. Go watch it. But basically, we were walking home from- We were just walking home one day, and then they confessed. And then they walked me home. Oh, wait, I said yes. I was like, I like you too. And then we were walking home. And then at my doorstep- they, they asked me, they were like, can I kiss you? And then I was like, um, no. Because I had never, like, kissed anybody before or been in a relationship or anything. Um, and they were like, can I kiss your cheek? And I was like, okay. And then they pecked my cheek and then we both blushed. And then they wished me goodnight. And as they were walking away, literally for the joke, they, like, jumped in the air, clicked their heels, and then, like, ran away. And it was so cute. And then we didn't, like, kiss for real until a week of hanging out together. Because I was so scared. And then, um, my first kiss, it was so cute. It was cute. I'm sorry, Megan, but what? But what? In a TV show for real? Yeah, it was cute. It was cute. And then, for my first kiss, it was at my childhood, like, playground park. And then I was sitting on the swing and then they kissed me and it was so cute. But like I said, it was like a week after we were like together officially. Because they were they were like so patient with me. It was I I honestly got so lucky. Because this guy, like he was very respectful, very emotionally mature. Um he didn't do anything to like hurt or traumatize me because I, I feel like there's like a lot of bad RNG you could say with like people you meet or pursue. But they were honestly really good. A really good first partner. First and only partner, honestly. They were really good to me. That's a meme type moment. No, it was cute. Come on, stop being a doomer. Do they like you back? Okay, yeah, well, they did like me back. How can I make them? It's never certain. No, but they did like me back, though. I guess it's never certain is, is true. Are they cute? Ah, 
what? Okay. Okay. I'm sure everybody can relate. But you know how when you have a crush on somebody, you can kind of like picture in your head being together? Right? That's that's normal. And I remember me and the previous partner, we were talking about it and we were both saying like, yeah, we were both like thinking of each other in that way before we can before he confessed to me. And I was like, it was so cute. It was so cute. Are they cute? Yeah. I wouldn't say hot, <laughs> but I guess. Are you cute? Yes, very cute. <laughs> Did you ever date them? Yeah. <laughs> Did you do anything embarrassing in front of your crush? Oh my god. Funny story, funny story. Um, guys, we're all adults. We're all adults. Um, women poop and shit and fart. Okay, we're all adults. We don't need to piece I2 snicker. Um, but we were, we were like walking through town during night and... <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I accidentally farted, <laughs> and this was like three months in, <laughs> and it was in public because we were outside, and I was crossing my fingers, they didn't hear, but they hurt, and they just started giggling, and I was like, fuck, and then I started laughing. <laughs> But I, I still tried to not do it in front of them. <laughs> um, um, nothing you need to know about. Um, do you think love is bogus? I don't like any of these answers. I do think love is real. But I don't think it's... I don't think it's the best thing. Because love is pain. Be honest. Do you even have a crush? Okay, presently? No. There's nobody I want to pursue. There's nobody I'm with. So no, I don't have a crush. Sad. <clears throat> what are you gonna give your... What are you gonna give... Wait, what are you going to gift your crush on Valentine's Day? A ticket to their favorite band? Dinner at a fancy restaurant, some delicious chocolates, or a cute handwritten love letter. Okay, I don't have a Valentine's this year. Besides chat. So I, I guess a love letter. What would you wear for your hot date with your crush? A cute sundress, a button-up shirt, and a pair of... A, a button-up shirt and a pair of a... Skirt. L-O-B-D, little black dress, or comfy jeans and a super cute top. Um, I usually didn't dress too femme. I don't think I dress too femme now either. It's honestly too cold in Washington. The only time you can really wear a dress out in public is during summer. So I, I would dress pretty casually. Because a thing that I had to keep in mind, because my um, partner previously was very sensitive to textures, so I couldn't, like, I wouldn't be able to wear the dress I wore today because it has glitter on it. Um, so I would only really wear things that they like touching. Like, the fa the material had to be soft. They didn't like anything that had, like, like the polymer stuff. They didn't like that. And obviously, since I like cuddling, I had to wear clothes that they thought was comfortable. But then they wouldn't do that for me. I remember, uh, he would always wear... I remember I actually bought it for him. Because we went to, like, a, a market. And, you know those... What are they called? I don't know what they're called. But they're like the woven sweaters. Um, that like all the weed people wear. And he really wanted it, so I bought it for him. It was like 80 bucks. But I hate I hated the texture of it. It was like too rough. It felt like string. It felt like twine. But he loved it so much. But I hated cuddling when he wore it because it was so itchy. Yeah, that's how I was too, Mech. You have to be mindful for what makes them comfortable. Anyway, let's continue on. What kind of people do you, like, spend- What? 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 I can't read. 
What kind of people do you love to spend time with? Friendly and caring people, honest people, funny people. Why choose I like them all? I think friendly is the safest answer. What is your favorite romance movie? I haven't seen any of these. Let's do Shape of Water. That's the that's the scaly movie, right? Which superhero would you love to date? Um, Batman, Spider-Man, Thor, or Superman? I've never been I've never been too into superheroes. I think they're corny. I've never had a crush on a superhero. Wasn't Spider-Man like a high schooler? No, he was in college. Let's do Batman because he's rich. You got it. You're so in there. You and your sweetheart are perfect. But don't rush anything. Take it slow, but remember. If anyone asks to tell you... Wait, if anyone asks to tell them you are occupied. What? Wait, because this quiz was... Are you going to get a Valentine's this year? But I don't have a crush. Guys, I'm perplexed. What do we do? Okay, next. Quiz. How romantic are you? <laughs> Why are you wearing white pants on the countertop? They're gonna get stained. Okay. Do you believe in love at first sight? No. It. No. That is not love. That is infatuation, and desire and lust. If you cannot love somebody without knowing them. If you could choose any movie genre to watch, what would it be? A romantic drama? A rom-com? It doesn't really matter. Or anything but romance. A romantic drama makes me feel sad, but a romantic comedy makes me feel happy. Okay, do you use pet names for your partner? Yes, I love to create personalized and endearing names just for them. I use typical pet names like Baby, Sweetie, or Honey. Ew. Not really, it's sort of embarrassing, or no way, those are awful, but awful. Pen names are cute. There are some that I like and some that I don't like, but I think they are cute. I think it's also because I don't really like being called by my name. It's not that I don't like my name. I think the idea of having a name or a phrase only being used by that person for you is a very cute thing, so I, I like pet names. Your anniversary is coming up! Like I said, he broke up with me two weeks before our anniversary. I was planning so many things. Sad. Okay, do you plan a candle at dinner followed by dancing, a jazz club, and intimate time? Go to a dinner and a movie? We'll figure something out or don't do anything, it's just another day. I think a candle at dinner is too much, so I think dinner in a movie is cute. Do you enjoy hand-holding, spooning, and cuddling? Yes, I initiate it. Yes, but I don't initiate. Sometimes if it feels right, never. It's way too lovey-dovey. Yeah, I initiate. I think me and them initiated to the same level. Degree? Amount? <clears throat> okay. Have you ever made breakfast in bed? <laughs> There's different types of breakfasts, you could say. <laughs> okay. Um, all the times, I like to look for different recipes. Sometimes on special occasions, if they're sick, or never, it's too much work. I've n I don't... I don't mind eating on my bed, but I've never, like, had breakfast in bed. I'll say sometimes. Because, like, um. How do I share this without oversharing? <laughs> uh, I told y'all. But, like, my parents, they have a lot of clutter. They're not hoarders, but they're kind of, like, outskirting the line. So there would never be any room on the table to eat. Um, so. 
we would always eat in like our bedrooms or whatever. So I'd always eat in my room. So I would, I'd have breakfast in bed every morning. But not the romantic kind. Do you remember your first kiss? Yes, I remember everything. What was I wearing, though? I don't remember what I was wearing. That's the only thing I don't remember. But it was very cute. I just told you guys the story, but it's very cute. Would your friends consider you a romantic person? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Huh? Okay. When you go to a sporting event or concert with your partner, you... Hold on to the ticket stub and buy other memorabilia to have as memories. Keep the ticket stub as a reminder. Try to keep the ticket stub, but if not, it's not a big deal. Throw it out, who cares? I usually keep things like that. Like, I kept, like, train tickets. I kept receipts sometimes. So, yeah. Um, do you do any special favors? Give gifts and or go out out of your way to support surprise your partner definitely it brings me joy to make them happy sometimes i'll try to once in a while when it's convenient or rarely who has the time i like giving gifts occasionally okay you got some romantic qualities you're definitely a romantic person and while your head may sometimes be in the clouds clueless your feet are still firmly planted on the ground be able to enjoy the benefits of romance without getting boggled down by impossible standards only reserved for movies. Use pet names, try to hold on to keepsakes, and place some emphasis on the romantic moments in your life. But you go for the realistic over idealistic. You don't have a romanticized vision of romance, and it plays a healthy role in your life. While it's important not to get lost in fantasies, don't be afraid to push the romantic envelope. For instance, dinner and a movie may be your ideal anniversary day, but why not take it a step further and give your partner a truly unique gift to accompany your night? Such as a photo album of the two of you, a book featuring works of their favorite artist, or a handwritten, handfelt card. I did make a card. You can look for new ways to make romance a top priority without going over the top. Wow, very nice. So I'm, I'm not a hopeless. I am a somewhat romantic. Hmm. Interesting. You know what else is interesting? Watching ads. <laughs> because guys, we are another hour into stream so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads you can avoid the ad by subscribing for 4.99 just five dollars skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long or sorry I had to breathe <laughs> you can link amazon prime to your twitch and hashtag sub for free with prime click subscribe see if you have a prime sub available after the ad we will keep going i have a few handful of quizzes to do and then we will review the results of the community quiz so if you don't want to miss a single thing subscribe easy Get boomed. Okay, next. Okay, the the <laughs> the remaining ones I have are just fun. Like you know the cliche BuzzFeed ones that are insane. I have like six pulled up. Okay. There are only five romantic types in the world. Which one are you attracted to? Are you a morning person? Yes, I wake up at five every morning because I can't fucking sleep. Okay. What song describes your love life? Okay, Wild by Troye Sivan, Sucker by Nick Jonas, Someone You Loved by Louis Calpaldi, Lose to Love Me by Selena Gomez, Lover by Taylor Swift, or Bad at Love by Halsey. I don't really know all the lyrics to all these. I'll do Lose You to Love Me. I don't know. How do you take your coffee? Black? A little cream? Lots of cream and sugar? Iced or blended? I would choose I don't drink coffee. Yeah, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> okay. Pick a text message to receive. Holy... <laughs> Okay, message to receive. To receive. What would you be doing if I was there, winky face? 
couldn't stop thinking about you today. Hey, beautiful. I hate being called beautiful as a pen name. I think it's bad. I don't like it. It sounds like catcalling. Just wanted to say I love you. Hey, or you up. I've no Okay, wait. The only time I've gotten a you up text is if they're feeling sad. Not because they're trying to smash. Okay, if somebody texts you hey, just straight up hey, I'm not answering. I'm not answering. I need to know what you want to talk about if you're texting me. Um... Okay, these two are cringe. These two are cringe. If they're texting me, they obviously want to bang, so flirt with me. <laughs> yeah, baths or showers? I love me a bath. I love me a bath. Pick an iconic couple? Oh my god, Gage. I really just tried pressing X on the ad. Good one. <laughs> Hmm. Honestly, because we used to watch The Office together, because I they had watched the whole show and I had watched nothing. So I think Jim and Pam, even though she's not the best person, it was still cute to watch them like fall for each other. What if it's too serious to just jump in the initial text? I would say, hey, can I talk to you about something, or do you have some time to chat? Because if you just ask, hey, then it's like. Then it's, to me, just saying, hey, is baiting for a response, and I hate that shit. I don't like being baited. Okay, finally, when was the last time you sneezed? I don't sneeze. Wait, I sneezed yesterday on stream. Yesterday. Okay, there are only five romantic types in the world. Which one are you attracted to? A true romantic. You're a sucker for classic romantic gestures. You'd love a partner who sweeps you off your feet, cooks you dinner, and buys you roses just because. I wouldn't, though. I, I don't like romantics that much. Oh, the balloons? Oh my god, stop! What is it? Uh, ew, cringe. Stop. <laughs> Okay, I don't like hopeless romantics. I think it's performative to an instance. I don't know. I don't like being randomly called. Yeah, if I want to talk to somebody, I'll text them first. I'll be like, hey, are you free to call or can I talk with you on the phone? I don't just cold call. Okay. Would you rather Valentine's edition? Ooh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Would you rather snack on candy hearts or snack on Valentine's M&M's? I hate M&M's and sweet candy hearts aren't that good. The only good candy hearts are white, pink, and purple. But I would still choose candy hearts over M&M's. Oh, is that? Oh, it tells me the stats for every question. Okay, I was confused. I thought the quiz was over already. I was like, damn, I'm speed running. Would you rather go out for a fancy dinner or stay in and order pizza? Okay. Pro tip. Do not ever go out with your your lover on Valentine's Day. The service is going to be worse. The places are going to be crowded. You're going to have a bad experience probably because of the service. So don't go out. Go like the week or the second weekend after. So if it's the actual Valentine's Day, I would order in. Get a pizza. You know what I've been craving so much? I've been craving Wingstop boneless wings. We got them a few weeks ago and I've been craving them again. The chicken parm is so good. Or the chicken parm? Or garlic parm. It's so good. I've been like debating if I want to order it, but I don't need it. I can't afford it. I don't need it. And I have enough leftovers, but I'm like... Uh, I don't need it. Oh, I made biscuits and gravy last night, and it was so fucking delicious. My, my first time making it, it was so good. Okay. Would you rather bet 
that you can make someone fall in love with you in 10 days or bet that you can lose a date in the same amount of time. Hmm. Not gonna lie. Hmm. Okay, it would be very easy to lose a date. Because that all depends on if they don't like you, right? But can I win someone over in 10 days? Call me egotistical, call me confident, but I think I can do it. I think I can... Give me the challenge and I think I can do it. Okay, would you rather watch a 2000s rom-com that, that you've seen a million times and love or watch a rom-com from the last five years that you've never seen before? Yeah, I'll watch a new one. I don't like watch- I don't like re-watching movies too much. I'd rather re-watch a show. Because when you re-watch a movie, you already know what'll happen in that hour. But when you rewatch a TV show, then there's probably so much that you've forgotten that you've already watched or experienced that you kind of get to relive again. I'm act. My mouth is a game. Okay, would you rather go on a date with somebody new for Valentine's or make Valentine's plans with an ex? Oh no! Oh no! We got it! <laughs> oh no! Okay. Okay. I'm not a homewrecker. I would never pursue anyone who is who I was previously with if they're in a relationship now. I think that's hoe behavior and bad behavior. But making plans with an ex specifically for Valentine's Day to make yourself feel better is so bad. It's- it depends- no, do- okay, chatters, do not ever pursue anybody if they are currently in a relationship that you are previously with. That is not good. That is bad. Don't- don't do it. Because obviously, if they are with another person, then they're probably- over you, which sounds bad, but if you still have that underlying feeling that you want to pursue them, you need to respect whatever relationship they're currently in, because if you can't respect that, then you don't respect them. Because you need to respect whatever decision they choose. For sure, only if they're single. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I don't... Cause like, uh, egg their house instead. <laughs> okay, what are your guys' thoughts on? Hmm. Okay, let's say you are in a relationship and you're doing well and you're happy, and then your ex messages you, knowing that you're in a relationship. That's bad, right? That makes them a hoe. Why are they messaging you? When they can see that you're in a relationship. Like, why the fuck are you doing that? You're intruding. That's bad. You would not speak with them? I don't know. I don't want to share. <laughs> this is something that I probably shouldn't share. <laughs> But basically what I'm saying is just don't message them or try to get back with them if you know that they're with somebody else. Because it's not fair to whatever partner they currently have. Ignore that test or ghost them? Yeah. Easy. Um... Okay, go on a date with somebody new or make plans with an ex. Okay. If I'm a be honest, if I will be honest, I don't think I could ever date or pursue anyone 
knew without knowing them. Maybe if it ended good and they're just trying to be friends. Yeah, that's what I was, okay, that's what I was going to share. Because when I was with my partner previously, um, their ex messaged them. And then immediately, immediately when that happened, he told me, he's like, hey, so-and-so is trying to talk to me. And I was like, he, and he asked me, he was like, is it okay if I talk with her? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Because it's not like you guys are like trying to bang, right? Um... Because I was like, you know, I want to respect your boundaries and I don't feel like it's fair to tell you to not talk with somebody. Because, you know, you need to have a, a degree of separation from your partner because you can't be the only person to talk to. You can't be the only person that's involved in their life. And I was like, you know, if she just wants to talk casually, like, friendly, that's fine. Like, I'm not going to want to look through your text messages. I'm not going to want to do that. And any time, any time I told this to, like, a friend or something... They'd be like, no, I would not let him talk to her. Or why did you let him do that? And I'm like, well, I feel like it's fine. And okay, later on, we found out that she was trying to bang. <laughs> and she was trying to like slide in. But, and then when she started messaging him like that, she he stopped talking to her. But it's just like, I think it's important to respect your partner's privacy and boundaries. Like, it was obviously a good thing that he asked me first, because that would have been respecting my boundaries to an extent, right? But I don't like when people are immediately opposed to the idea of keeping it in contact with the next partner. But obviously, don't try to get with them if they have a GF or a BF. Okay, like I said, let me answer the question. I'll, I would make plans for the next. I would do it. I would do it. Oh my god. Stop. 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 <laughs> Guys, my ex doesn't watch this stream, so he'll never know. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Yeah, he'll never know. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, would you rather... He secretly one of us? No. I know he doesn't watch Twitch. I know he doesn't. Crystal said a bad word, did they? No, they didn't. Okay. Would you rather receive flowers and chocolate from a secret admirer? Or receive a mixtape and homemade card from an old friend? Why is this old friend simping for me? He's PSI2's biggest fan? No, it's not. I, I know who is PSI2's biggest fan and it's not my ex. <laughs> uh, thank you, Cool Bobo, for answering. Um, today we're reviewing the multiple choice answers along with me taking the quiz. And then tomorrow I'm going to do a long stream um, where I'm answering the free response. What's on the playlist? That would make me sad. Um, me and my partner previously, we neither of us could drive, so we didn't have like a a car playlist. I don't I don't have any like songs that make me think of him or anything. But a card, holy! But gifts from an admirer, then I could eat the chocolates. Obviously, I'll choose that. Okay. Would you rather indulge in chocolate-covered strawberries or indulge in a, in a tin of gourmet popcorn? I don't like popcorn. I'll take the strawberries. <gasps> Gage? Okay. Would you rather go on a date with friends on Valentine's or go on a date... Or go out with a date? Okay, theoretically, if I had a partner, I would go on a date with my partner. Okay. <laughs> okay, would you rather buy Valentine's themed candy beforehand to get into the spirit or buy it on sale the day after? I'd buy it after. On sale plus two dollars. Okay, would you rather go to a movie in theaters or stream a movie at a home on the couch? Oh, I would obviously see it in theaters. The sound quality is impeccable. 
But if it's no longer playing in theaters, then I guess I'd have to watch it at home. Ooh, you know what a movie I want to rewatch? I want to watch Nope again. Because I saw it in theaters, and I've been, like, watching a whole bunch of, like... Only recently, like, last week, because I've been getting them in my YouTube recommended, of, like, analysis videos on the movie, and I want to watch it again. So I think I might buy it on YouTube. Because you can buy, like, the HD versions and stuff. Okay, hold. Why are my frames dropping? What the fuck? Uh-oh. My bitrate is at 3k. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Everybody hold. The stream hasn't effed or anything. Hold. Sorry, my sister just texted me, want Popeyes, yes. Okay, why am I still dropping frames, huh? Yeah, Nope is definitely a movie you should have seen in theaters, but if you watch it at home, like, if you watch on the computer with headsets on, because the audio, like, mixing in the movie is insane. Get some directional headphones and watch it at home. Okay, why are frames still dropping? What the fuck? Okay, I'm, I'm checking my internet. Okay, Wi-Fi is off. Ethernet is on. Okay, we're at 4K bit rate. I just had deja vu. When I went to go see Nope in the movies, I almost got into a fight. Huh? Story time? Okay, chatters. Are you guys seeing drop frames? Like, is it lagging for you guys at all? Why is it dropping frames? What the fuck? Yeah, fuck. Oh, no. Yes, very... Oh, wait. Okay, okay, okay. It's good now. It's good now. It's good now. It's giving Lego movie. Okay, wait. Is it better now? Is it better now? Is it better now? I'm at 6k bitrate. I don't know what the fuck happened. It's good now? Okay. Saved. It was weird. Because, like, usually when the internet crashes, it'll just disconnect. But I was at 3k bitrate. And I was dropping, like... Like, 10 frames a second. Okay, thank you guys for waiting. Thank you, I appreciate that. I don't know why. Because I have my Ethernet. Hmm. Well, we're good now. What's my Popeye's order? Um, chicken sandwich, no pickle. And then, I will usually add Chick-fil-A sauce at home. And then, just regular nuggets. And then, if they have, like, honey mustard. I like the... I don't know what it's called. Like, the festival honey mustard. Wait, I was just saying that I wanted chicken earlier. Dude, easy. Okay, back to work. Thank you guys for waiting. I appreciate your patience. The girl next to me was on her phone during the whole movie and I told her to stop and she got mad. <gasps> Ooh, drama. It's actually crazy. Not? Okay, okay. Obviously, Kim. Obviously. If she instigated the fight, it's her fault. But when I see people on the phone in the movies, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm just like... But it's also because, like, I'm too scared to say anything. You know what I mean? So, if she threw hands, it's her fault. But you, I still think you're in the right for telling her to, to stop it. <laughs> I, I, I would never do that, though. I'd be too scared. But usually when I sit in the theaters, I sit in the backpack. So there's nobody usually by me. Okay, back to work. We have so many- we have so many quizzes to get through. Okay. Would you rather... Tell someone they're your lobster and then them not get the reference. Introduce the olive theory and have them make fun of you. 
Okay, I don't know either of these. I've never watched Friends cancel me. I've watched How I Met Your Mother, but I literally don't remember anything about it. So... Let's do Olive Theory? I don't know. Huh? Okay, would you rather stay up all night talking to someone or go to bed at a reasonable hour and talk to them in the morning? I do like staying up late on the phone. It is cute. I've never, like, fallen asleep FaceTiming because I don't FaceTime people. But, like, talking to somebody, like, as you're falling asleep is cute. Because, like, your, your, like, rationale goes down as you get tired. And then you can talk about, like, real shit. So it's cute. Friends is annoying. It's okay. Okay, I won't watch it then. <clears throat> Dive into an assorted chocolate arrangement in heart sheet packaging or eat all the regular candy just the Valentine's themed. I do like theme chocolate. I think it's cute. Um, if you give the sub, I will eat a Valentine's chocolate right now. <laughs> um. Would you rather receive a homemade gift or a lavish gift? I like... If somebody makes me something, I will treasure it forever. Wait, is that it? Oh, wait. This, this quiz was would you rather. There's no final result. Lame. Lame. <gasps> tell me what you're doing this Valentine's Day and I'll tell you whether or not you'll find love in 2023. Guess, boo. What time do you wake up? I'm sleep until noon, 7 to 8, 6 to 7, or 5 to 6. Um, as of recent, I'll knock out at midnight, but then I wake up at 5, because my sister leaves for work early morning, and she slams all the kitchen cupboards, she slams the door slut, because she has no spatial awareness, and that's fine, but it still wakes me up every fucking morning. And it, even on the weekends, my body is conditioned to wake up at 5 on the weekends, too. Okay, what do you eat for breakfast? Um, I usually don't skip breakfast because my normal day today, my breakfast, I'll have like, I'm transitioning to two meals a day, like higher caloric take meals though. So I usually have leftovers, but if I can make breakfast, I'll make like rice and then I'll either make scrambled eggs or like an over medium egg and then put sauce on top. So I usually go with eggs. I think they're the least effort breakfast you can make. Where are you headed first? Oh wait, so for Valentine's on Valentine's. Um, well for Valentine's I'm gonna be streaming because I don't have a Valentine. Um, so go to work because streaming is work. Corpa. What are you having for lunch? Um, I don't leak. I don't want to leak what I'm gonna make for Valentine's, but <laughs> I'm not making burgers. That's not romantic at all. How do you cook your eggs? Um, I I have like a little mug of bacon grease. So I'll put bacon grease. I use a small, like the smallest pen I have. I heat up bacon grease. I put it to medium high. Then when it's melted, I put it to medium low. I crack two eggs in it. I put the little glass lid on top of the pan. And then it just pan fries. Because when you put the lid on top of it, it heats, the steam heats the egg white. And then I usually let it cook for about four or five minutes until just the bottom is crispy and then just till the whites are just about cooked. That's if I'm making it over easy. But when I make scrambled, I crack the eggs into the pan. Or same thing, I heat up the bacon grease, crack the eggs into the pan, and then I, I scramble them in the pan on medium-low until they're just about cooked. Because I kind of like when my scrambled eggs are a little bit runny. Oh, I got caught in my arm. Okay. Any plans for the big night? Well, I don't have a valentine. So I'm going to be streaming. Which technically could be considered spending time with friends. Because we're friendly, right? 
Right? Um, are you gonna be watching stream on Valentine's Day, Type 1? What movie are you watching? How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, The Lady and the Tramp? Mean Girls? Or hell no, nah, I wanna watch a horror movie. I've been a real big fan of thrillers recently. So honestly, why not a horror movie? You're going to be single in 2023, but that's just fine. Who wants a partner weighing them down anyway? Plus, I'll be right there with you. Fuck that quiz. <laughs> no, I don't I don't need a relationship right now anyway. I'm too fucked up. Anyway, and if I get a girlfriend, then I can't stream. I'd be spending all day with them. <sighs> Villain origin story? Nah. <sighs> okay, let's keep going. Plan your ideal Valentine's Day in 10 easy steps. And we'll reveal if your crush is also crushing on you. I don't have a crush. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out so we can see all the options without scrolling. Oh, why are there so many options? I don't want to do this quiz. Ooh, interessante! Is your date a red heart or a red flag? Okay, I've never gone on, like, a date not knowing somebody. Because I've only had one partner. And all the dates we went on, because we were friendly before we started going out. So it's not like I didn't know of any red flags before we dated or went out. Okay, first off, who did all the planning? It was a team effort, I guess. Did your date offer to pick you up? Um, no, because we walked everywhere. You're waiting at the restaurant. How long did they take to arrive? Okay, this quiz is stupid. I don't- I'm- I'm not dating anyone. Okay. Okay, let's look through these. Ooh, interesting. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, let's do that. These, these are the last three. I think they're all good. You know what else is great? following the channel if you're new here and like what you see click the follow button you get cool emotes and you get to type in chat ain't no way and if you're already following make sure you have notifications turned on that way you don't miss a single stream okay final three and then we get finally get to do the chat quiz that i did earlier talking about it if you haven't filled it out yet fill it on out i'm gonna close the quiz in like an hour or whenever we're done so in 30 minutes oopsie so make sure you fill it out please 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 Let's settle these Valentine's Day debates before the big day is here. Flowers or chocolates? Chocolates because you get to eat them. And neither. Fucking doomers. Stuffed animal or jewelry? I don't like jewelry because it's a reminder of your partner. <sighs> That's when you hear something sad. Okay, so they broke up with me two weeks before our anniversary, right? And I had bought these, like, neutral-looking um, woven bracelets that he and I could wear. And I was like, that was gonna be, like, my anniversary gift. But then he broke up with me. And th I still have them in my drawer. But I don't- it's like my, my special drawer, so I don't touch it. Where it, I have, like, all the cards and trinkets from, like, my whole life and shit, right? Year anniversary? Yeah. It was two weeks before our, our first annual. Sad. Um, so I don't like jewelry. <laughs> uh, so I'll take a stuffed animal. Even though I don't like stuffed animals that much either. Okay, conversation hearts or gummy hearts? Ooh, I love gummy candy. Taffy or truffles? Truffles! I'm bougie.
Hershey's Kisses or M&M's? M&M's don't have enough chocolate in them. I'll take a uh, Hershey's Kiss, not a real kiss. I hate those. <laughs> movie date or dinner date? I don't like movie dates that much because you don't talk that much. The only good thing about a movie date is that you can like hold hands and stuff. I'd rather go out to eat. And finally, picnic date or amusement park date? Um, I don't like amusement parks and I can't go to them anymore because my doctor said I can't jostle my head around. I can literally break my ba brain if I go on a roller coaster. Um, because my brain is too big for my skull. So I'll take a picnic date. <laughs> okay. Next, final two. Prepare some romantic meals to discover when you'll meet your true love. Okay, so what am I gonna make for breakfast? Heart-shaped waffles, berry pancakes, coffee with a foam part, or jam to oh my god, so many. Um, jam toast, eggs, or donuts. How does one make donuts at home? I feel like that's a bit too extra. My parents do have a heart-shaped waffle maker that is very cute. Too smart to ride roller coasters? Exactly. Um, I like eggs. I like a hearty breakfast. Lunchtime berries. If you're having berries for lunch, make make yourself a full meal, please. A hard sandwich. Oh wait, there was one time I made them an omelet and then I drew a little heart with the ketchup. <laughs> I'm adorable. Salad or ramen. Or chips and dip or watermelon. Let's do a hard sandwich, that's cute. Copium, shut up. I'm adorable. Okay. What do you want for dinner? Lasagna, French onion soup, ravioli pasta, steak, or a heart pizza? Oh, my dad would always get us a heart pizza from... Papa Murphy's. Because I think Papa Murphy's has the take and bake pizzas. Ooh, should I get one this year? We could do that for stream. Wait, Pizza Hut has a hard pizza too, I think. I I'm not sponsored. Imagine. Um, out of all these, I don't like steak that much. Not gonna lie. I think ravioli. I like ravioli a lot. Okay, choose a sweet treat to end the day. A lava cake. Conversation hearts. Red velvet cupcakes. Eclairs. Chocolates or strawberry shortcake? I do love me a lava cake. Wait, you can't end the day without a drink. I don't drink alcohol. I told the story of how I was trying to cook with wine, but I couldn't open the bottle because we don't have a wine opener because nobody in the house drinks. A milkshake! No! No, I want the milkshake! Fuck. Okay, save. I love milkshakes. Ooh, my friend and I, uh, or my roommate and I, we went to a burger place the other weekend. And I had a banana creme brulee milkshake. It was really good. It was like some uh, independent burger place. Okay, bonus question. Pick a cute animal to cuddle with cat. Obviously cat. Wait, I got spoiled. If you choose any of these, you're crazy. I would- I love cuddling with cats. Okay. Two years? I'm gonna be on my incel arc for two more years? Guys, it's been since 2019. Bro. That means six years I will have been on my incel arc. Next quiz. Only two years? <laughs> but then I'll be 20... I'll be 26. <laughs> okay. Wanna know what your relationship status will be in 2023? Just bake a cake to find out. First, how many layers would you like? 
if I'm talking about cakes that I like, I like the cakes that have really thin layers of cake and then frosting. I love those cakes, so four or more. Choose a cake flavor. Why would you choose pumpkin spice? You'll be famous by then? But then when you're famous, how do you date and not think they want your clout? You have to date the girl next door, you know? Um, vanilla cake. If there was a fruit, I would have chosen fruit. But vanilla, you can mix with fruit. Choose another flavor. Ooh, I love carrot cake. But also strawberry. Strawberry. One more! Raspberry. Any fillings? Caramel will be too sweet. Chocolate? I don't like chocolate on cake too much. Um, I don't like the seeds too much of raspberry. I'll choose strawberry. Oh my god, Disney bundle. Not sponsored. Choose a second filling. Whipped cream? Whipped cream is the superior filling. Frosting? I love cream cheese frosting. I could eat that shit up. Toppings? I don't like getting these. I don't like toppings too much on my cakes. I'll do berries. More! Okay, more frosting. I love a cake with a lot of frosting. Mm. Is it bad that I'm, like, thinking of what cake I want for my birthday? I love this look. Like, floral frosting I think is so pretty. Hi, Titans. This one does not have enough frosting. But that one is cute. I like this one. <gasps> no way! Dating this year? But the other quiz said two years from now. Huh? <laughs> it's almost like these quizzes mean nothing. <laughs> okay, lucky you. Wait, sorry, I was thinking of the Eminem song. Okay. Lucky you'll be taken this year, who knows? Maybe they'll be... The one? Oh my god! <laughs> Ain't no way. I missed the deep quizzing. Okay, well, we're going back to the actual quiz of the day. I'm gonna be taking the quiz that I have pinned in chat. So, I'm going- wait, first I need to disable the quiz. That way nobody else can submit. Okay, so now the quiz... ...is... ...officially... ...done. Nobody else can submit. It is done. Okay, I have to stop receiving submissions. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Teehee. Oh, did I PSA 27? <laughs> Guys are so funny. <laughs> okay, I have to unpin the message. I'm scared. Don't be scared. We're doing the free response tomorrow, so we're having fun today. Um, let's do a quick poll, just for fun. Cause... Uh... <laughs> While I'm getting this set up, do... Everybody, do the poll, do the poll. <laughs> Will you be my valentine? <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> okay. Okay, dude. <laughs> okay, I gotta get it set up. Okay, so I will take the quiz myself, and then I will show the results after. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna answer my own because will you be my Valentine? Yes, because I am single. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you guys ready? So this was a quiz that I made for my chat room. It was a series. Oh, let me actually read it out. <laughs> Love is in the air, peace I to heart. Maybe this is the year you'll be struck by Cupid's arrow. Angel emoji? <laughs> Cupid's arrow emoji. <laughs> Whether you're in a relationship or forever single, this is the perfect quiz for you. There will be majority multiple choice and yes and no questions. The free response are optional but greatly appreciated. Um, re results will be collectively shown on stream, so don't be scared to answer honestly. Your submissions will be reviewed anonymously. Thank you. Peace in. Okay, Twitch username? I'm using a private tab, so I'm not gonna leak anything. Nice try. Okay. Do you have a Valentine this year? No. <laughs> but turns out I have three chatters who would be my Valentine. <laughs> yeah, how many crushes have you had? Okay, when I was thinking up the questions for this quiz, I was like, if you have zero, you're probably like ace, and that's fine. If you have one to three, you probably like fell in love with your best friend, but then you had a best friend every few years. And if you have four to ten, then you have like, you had a new crush every school year. So that was me. <laughs> I always had a crush on a different person every year, but then... I had, like, a long, ongoing crush on one of my friends. Or two of my friends. <laughs> In school. <laughs> so I have a lot. Only one of them worked out. Um, ever confessed your feelings to someone? Okay. Similar to how I had a crush every year, I confessed to somebody most every school year. So, yes. Um, they all failed. The only time I got confessed to was my previous partner. But then I liked them back. Wait, did it mean entire life and not just this year, bro? <laughs> imagine, imagine Kobobo answered 4 to 10 for just this year. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I need to fix my hair. It got caught in the scrunchie, I didn't even realize it. It was pinching my head. Okay. Ever been on a date? Yeah. Ever hold hands? Yes. Ever receive a kiss? Yes, no, just from my parents. <laughs> I was gonna make a Tom Brady joke, but I didn't want to be political. Ever receive a kiss? Yes. Back just in time. Hi, Mac. Which is the best Valentine's treat? Flowers, chocolates, balloons, or stuffed animals. I have to say chocolates because I can eat them. Thoughts on PDA? Public displays of infection. Love it. I like seeing people happy. Smiley face. It's okay. Makes me a little uncomfy. Nope. Hate it. Save it for home. Does my me confessing in Tamagotchi life count? No. Get off your Nintendo DS. Fuck. I screwed up the joke. I was gonna say, get off your Nintendo DS scrub. Okay, okay. Um, I personally... I like PDA. Obviously, there is a line. Like, don't be fucking, like, making out with your partner in public. But, I don't mind PDA. I think it's cute. Like, you ever be in public and you see, like, an old couple, like, holding hands and it's cute? Like, I... I personally like showing PDA in public too, like, <laughs> there was one time me and my previous partner were walking around town, it was a guy, and we both had our arm around each other's waist, so we were just walking, <laughs> we both had an arm on each other's waist, we looked like fucking losers, oh my god, it makes me jealous, <sighs> you're a hater, 
Just making us in the- Us? What? Huh, me? <laughs> Does making us in The Sims 4 and living happily ever after count? No. Get off your computer, scrub. Conjoined twins? <laughs> but that's because, like, I'm equally, like, possessive when it comes to PDA. Like, I don't like when they just put an arm around me. Thankfully, my previous partner liked being cuddled, too, so... I could be Big Spoon as much as I could be Little Spoon. It was nice. Anyway. I get all the women telling them I use Reddit. I would run for the hills if somebody told me to use Reddit. I can live through other people's PDA. That's what I feel too. It's cute. Okay. Is love real? Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Some people feel it. Maybe not me right now, but obviously some people feel it. Um, optional. Do you have any relationship advice? Peason will give you advice anonymously on stream. Be as specific or as general as you like. Or do I want relationship advice? Oh. Okay, some of y'all fucked up this question too. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it more tomorrow. But do I want any advice? Leak! I can't leak! Hmm. Nope, I'm a love guru. <laughs> I ain't leaking shit. Um, if you could give relationship advice, what would you say? Ooh. Okay, this isn't necessarily for me. But I think this is very important to say, and I'll talk about this more tomorrow, so leaks. Um, I never experienced any abuse from a previous partner, but this is just in general. Because, you know when you talk to friends and they tell their story? You know what I mean? So I think... If you guys can read the screen for audio listeners... If someone hits you, they don't love you. I think that is something that... It's a more serious topic that we will go into more depth tomorrow. Um, but I think... There's obviously a lot of psyche behind... Um, if you experience abuse... And, and the kind of dynamics on like how you deal with it... And why a lot of people do choose to stay in a relationship. But... TLDR, if someone hits you or is mean to you or calls you names where it's not consensual, yes, there are times to where, let's say there's RP, where you may enjoy some more, like, sadistic things, but if it's in the normal day-to-day -day and they are hitting you or calling you names, like, belittling you, that's not love. Um... And no matter what you think you feel, or what you think that they feel for you, that is not love. There are resources in your local area, there are national hotlines you can call if you need support. But if someone is hurting you, that is not love. Anyway, we'll talk about more tomorrow. <laughs> but that is what I will say. Um, like I said, it's not from my experience, obviously. Um, I told myself if the moment, the moment, a potential partner is harming me, whether verbally or physically, I am out. I don't give a fuck. You hit me once, we are done. No exceptions. Okay. Um, thank you for the lurk. This is a serious message? Yeah. Th this is like, um, I think that is my biggest piece of advice because there, we'll talk about it more tomorrow, but that is what I would tell somebody. Are you following at peace in 17 on Twitter? Um, no, because I can't follow myself. But make sure everybody you're all are following or you're all um following my Twitter, smile. Okay, but yeah, so that was the I'm not gonna submit for myself because I wanna look at your guys' results co co collectively tomorrow. But yeah, that was the quiz I had everybody answer. So, wait. Should I still leave the quiz open? You guys had four days, though. 
because, like I said, um, oh wait, I need to show the results! <laughs> oh, Mel! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I was like... Okay, well, here's the results. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Um, like I said, I'll be showing the multiple response answers today, but then tomorrow we will go over the free response. <laughs> um, okay, chat asked, I asked chat. Sorry, I need to, my, my window is too big, it covers my chat. Don't say any slurs, guys. Do you have a valentine this year? 83% said no. And that's why you guys are all watching Twitch, because you guys are forever alone. We have some Valentine's havers. Three people, wow! Okay. How many crushes have you had? Bye, okay, bye. <laughs> bye, Kim. <laughs> um, not you projecting? Shut the fuck up. Lucky three? No, don't see it that way. You don't need a relationship to be happy. Smile. Okay. How many crushes have you had? A majority one through three. Nice. Zero. Two people. Wow. That- <laughs> I think it's interesting how people cannot have crushes. It's obviously something that I can't relate to. Like I said, if you have zero, you might be ace. Which is fine. Which is great. It's, it's just not something that I can relate to. Um, four to ten. Seven people. Wow. I'm one of the two people really- Damn. Can't relate. Hashtag safe space. Yeah, we do have LGBTQIA tag. You know what is crazy? The A stands for ace, not ally. And a lot of people get that fucking confused because they're brain dead. Wait, don't don't leak what the results are in chat for the audio listeners. Guys. Yeah. Ever confessed your feelings for someone? 55% said yes. 55% of you guys are brave. Congrats to you all. And I am one of the few... Wait, how many people have I confessed to? Let me think. Hey, don't call me a hoe, but I confessed to four people. Because <laughs> I think I confessed to somebody... Every year in high school, and then one person post high school. And then I got confessed too. And then we broke up. <laughs> You're brave for that? Yeah, I was just stupid. <laughs> Ever been on a date? 61% said yes. So that means of the 55% who said they confessed to somebody, they've been on a date. So theoretically, the people who've gone on dates might have been confessed to okay ever hold hands 13 or 72 percent wait what so that means of the people who have said no or everybody who's answered that means you're probably not with that person now sad I feel that well I don't really think dating apps count as confessing I mean it it kind of does like when you're messaging people like obviously when you match I guess it would count like you do kind of like each other it's not as like brazen as a confession but I because to me a confession is like putting your foot in the door so I think it kind of counts Okay, ever receive a kiss? <laughs> no, just my parents. Oh my god, four of you motherfuckers. <laughs> Ew, four of you are Tom Brady's kids. <laughs> no, I I can understand how like parents can show platonic love like that, but I don't I don't I don't like it. Okay, so that means of the 13 people who have held hands, one of you guys did not get a kiss. Sad. Didn't even get to first base. Damn. Okay. Which is the best Valentine's treat? 
interesting. 50% said stuffed animals. 44 said chocolates. And one person said flowers. One person is a hopeless romantic. Everybody else were practical. We either like eating or we want some... We want to cuddle or want something to eat. What is this? Um, Titans, you had all week to fill up the quiz and I don't think you did. Shame on you. Um... Thoughts on PDA? Okay, a lot of you guys took the neutral response. 55% said it makes you a little bit uncomfy. 38% said, I love it. You are like me, a hopeless romantic. You live vicariously through people. Um, one- Wow, one person said no, you hate it. Why do you hate people's love? Nah, I get it. It can be kind of gross sometimes. Not gonna lie. But I think it's cute. I think it's cute. I wonder who. Yeah, I, I, I can find out who, but I'm not going to. To respect their privacy. Smile. Who would ever say that? Was it you, Crystal? <laughs> Imagine you're projecting. Okay, is this one was interesting. Is love real? 77% said yes. 22% said no. So four people think love isn't real. Love, someone hurt them. And I'm sorry. And I don't want to say that you will find somebody one day. But just know that it is real. Don't be too much of a doomer. Okay, the rest are... We're skirting past. Um, we'll answer these tomorrow. Um, but are you following me on Twitter? I feel like most of you guys found the quiz through my Twitter, but I have had it pinned in chat all week. The thing that is surprising to me. Whoever answered no, I'm not interested. I'm a fake fan. Four people? If you like the stream, follow the fucking Twitter. Come on. You get more lore and shit. Okay. That was fun. <laughs> I think the funniest thing. Hope the answer's up there. No, we're doing it tomorrow. I've said that so many times today. We're doing it tomorrow. We're doing it tomorrow. Don't worry. <clears throat> okay, well that was fun. Did you guys have fun today? You know what else is fun? Watching ads. Because <laughs> we are another hour in this stream. So, it is time for me to run some ads. I'm anxious waiting for it. It's tomorrow! It's tomorrow! I don't have a lot of time today. It's tomorrow. Oh, no fun? Ads are fun. Ads are fun for the subs, because if you're a subscriber, you don't get to see ads. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your comment, get ad for viewing all month long. After the ad, we're gonna do calligraphy, because we did get a sub today. Let's go! Um, you can also link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Also, if you gift a sub, I will eat a chocolate live on stream. Ain't no way. Um, there we go. Yeah, so like I said... We will do the free response question responses tomorrow, so don't worry. I promise I'm not ignoring you guys. Because I would have done it today, but I wanted to make sure I had like ample time to prep some responses. Because some of them were more personal. Some of them were obviously joking. But I want to make sure they all get ample attention and care. Because I feel like some of them people genuinely want input on. So I need to make sure I, I give them the utmost care. Okay, so chatters, I think we can go ahead and do some calligraphy. If you are new to stream, anybody who donates will get their name written at the end of stream, or you can use your channel points and then we'll write your name for free. Any redeemers? Any oilers? Mod check? Okay, let me change my title. I am really hungry. Ain't no way! Can we get some wool bubbles in chat? Thank you! Thank you! Or let, let me... Wool... Ain't no way! Another one? Huh? But thank you for that gifted mag. Thank you guys! Thank you! Can we get some... Wool bubbles and wax in chat? Thank you both! Thank you guys. Wait, I get two chocolates. I get two. 
Thank you. Wait, Chatters, pause. Pause. We are close to a hype train if we have one more person donate. One more person besides Mac or Quobobo, then we can get a hype train. Any Oilers? Anyone? Just finished my homework? Let's go. Any Oilers? Okay, I get two chocolates. This is the box I have. Wait, thank you guys for gifting. Now I can repay this headband. <laughs> um, oh, I'm also so mad at my sister. Because the other day, um, I got to eat a chocolate right because we got it gifted. And then I was telling my sister when she got home, she's like, I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, so for every gifted sub, I get a chocolate. And she's like, can I see the box you have? And I'm like, yeah. So I show it to her. She takes it out of my hands. She eats three. And she's like, oh, this one looks good. And then she's like, well, that one also looks good. And she's like, wait, I ate the wrong one. That is coffee. So I need to eat another one to get the taste off my tongue. So that motherfucker ate three. And if she hears me in her room, I don't care. Because I'm mad. Your sister's so funny. I I was going to say I hate her, but that's not true. <laughs> no, she's, she's funny. Okay. I get to... Better charger for a sub. She doesn't have a Twitch. She doesn't. I'm gonna- wait. No, which one should I have, actually? I have two boxes, just in case we have a lot of boilers. These are the flavors. Guys, we have two minutes left in order to be eligible for Hive Train. Ooh, I want the caramel one. It's very good. <laughs> it's also like very chewy. I can't really taste the caramel though, sad. Can you give people bits? No. Um You can only give people subs. In in your walls, Megan. Shut up, Crystal. <laughs> yeah, we get some crystals, but thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> but thank you, Chatters Hold. I saw your redemption, Kim. I will sing a song. Okay, everybody, pause what we are doing. Everybody hold. I thought that said balls. I mean, balls isn't a banned term, but don't push your luck, Chatters. Okay. So everybody, pause. We have a hype train. It has been a hot minute since we've gotten a hype train, so just to explain. Anybody who gifts a sub, subs with Prime, tier 1s, or cheers bits in the chat room right now, has a chance to earn exclusive Twitch emotes. If any chatters have hype train emotes of their own, go ahead and put them in the chat. That way everybody can see them. Wait, I- wait, I have hype train emotes. I have most every single one. Wowie, look at all these. They are so cute. If you want a chance to get exclusive emotes, donate to the channel right now. And if you give the sub, I will eat another chocolate. Your fave? I like the- the hype high, the dog one. That's the one that Emmy uses whenever she comes in the chat. Ain't no way! Thank you for that 100 bits, Keelan! Thank you! Thank you! Wait, is that your first time cheering, Keelan? I think you might have a new badge in chat, because whenever you cheer bits, you get a sushi badge. Thank you! Okay, I'm gonna have a white chocolate. Yeah, so many Oilers today. But thank you guys. Sorry, I'm chewing. <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, we also have TTS enabled for bit. So when you're cheering in chat, um, I can't cheer bit, so I can't show you. But if you type cheer, until shut the fuck up. Thank you for more bits, Crystal. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> but if you type normally in chat next to your bit emote, then it will say it out loud. Yeah, can we get some more crystals? But thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I gotta find a song. I know what song I wanna sing. I have to find the lyrics, actually. <clears throat> okay, I can't play the song, so I'll get banned. It be hype as fuck is here? Yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Okay, so the song I will sing is Bottle It Up by Sarah Borelli. We also have a minute left on the hype train, so if you want a chance to get exclusive emotes, cheer or gift right now. Okay, you guys know the drill? Um... Oh, if you want to see... Sorry, it's been a while since we've sung a song, actually. If you want to check out previous clips of me singing, I have a playlist on YouTube. Megan's walls are very IE worn. Thank you, Mac, for a hundred bits. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, it is probably true, because we have nice AC in this house. But thank you. Guys, 20 seconds! If we can, we can, if we have, wait, let's see. Oh, in order to complete level one, you need a lot of subs and bits. Never mind. <laughs> Guys, we're close to a level two. Ten seconds. Okay. The song I want to sing is Bottle It Up by Sarah Borelli. PC2 Snicker, PC2 Snicker, PC2 Snicker, PC2 oh, no. Snicker, PC2 Snicker, PC2 Snicker, PC2 Snicker, Megan, no date for two years. Thank you, Keelan, for another 100 bits. Good one. Lol W. Pause, champ. We completed a level one. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> level two, guys. Level two. Can we get to level 100? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you coming in clutch i appreciate you thank you guys please don't use emotes in the bit cheers it's gonna get fucking annoying more annoying than you already are now can i sing the song pause okay i'm gonna sing bottle it up by sarah Burley. i'm gonna try the second chorus i've never sung the second chorus on stream um i've only done the final verse and the first but i'm gonna try the second verse today well, now we have to. Mm -hmm. I think the pug emote was a limited time because the hype emotes, they rotate throughout the year. You should sing She Used to Be Mine from Waitress. I want to learn some of the Waitress songs. I think that would go crazy. Okay, you guys are ready? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to try and I'm going to try and sing it like slower than the actual version of the song. <clears throat> So everybody spam your favorite hype emotes, your favorite animated, that'd be great. I am aiming to be somebody that somebody trusts with her delicate soul. I don't claim that all much, except soon as you start to make room for the parts that aren't you, it gets harder to bloom in a garden of love. Love, 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 love. Only thing I ever could need, only one good thing worth trying to be. Okay, I sang that bridge way too low. I was tryharding. <laughs> Oh, wait, that was the first verse. Okay, reset, reset. 
That wasn't the. Uh, I that was the second part of the first verse reset. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna try the actual second verse. <laughs> yeah, resetting. Okay. We can understand the sentiment you're saying to us. Oh, but sensible cells are good. You gotta shut up and get started at keeping your part of the bargain. Oh, please, little darling. You're killing me, sweet little love. Love, love, love. Love, 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 love. See, it's so pretty. Okay, that was actually. Oh, I almost played the song. That was actually the second verse. Because, like, I hadn't heard the song in a while, but then it came up my YouTube recommended, like, a week ago, and I forgot how pretty it was. But thank you. Thank you once again to Kim for redeeming. It's been a hot minute since we saw a song. So thank you. I appreciate you for redeeming. <clears throat> okay. Now are we done stalling? VOD Watchers no longer in shamble. Let's do calligraphy now. Okay. Also, a middle left on the hype train. If you want a chance to get emotes, cheer or gift, now is your chance. Okay, that was actually fun. I haven't sung that deep in a long time. Oh my god, what is this? Holy moly! If, um, if you get five subs, you'll get a sketch card. Holy moly. Um, we're probably doing sketch cards for December on this upcoming Thursday, because I have appointments next week. So if you haven't sent me a picture, send it to me now, because I need them for Thursday. I want to be annoying and do what? What do you want to do? I'm scared. January? Did I say it wrong? Oh, wait. Yeah, it is January. It is- gee, Jesus, it's already February. It's crazy how fast time flies when you're not having fun. Am I right? Okay. You s yeah, I know I said December. I realized it after. Oh, wait. Change the title mods. Thank you guys. We had a level two hive train. Thank you everybody. I thank you everybody for donating. I appreciate you all. Two subs and 600 bits. Let's go. That's the best we've done in a long time, guys. Plus ten dollars. <laughs> but thank you guys. Did anybody get any new emotes? Put them in the chat. Any new emote havers? No, damn. It, it's because, okay, pro strat, if you're trying to collect hype emotes, um, cheer bits or gift subs in a big channel when they have a hype train. Because it's PC2 Snicker Mom Kubo, PC2 Evil Smile, PC2 Snicker in case good game hype. Well, PC2 Snicker. Thank you for another 100 bits, Crystal. I appreciate you. Okay, I'm done, I promise. Yeah. Save your gift card, because Crystal did get a gift card for clipping for January. I'm um, talking about clippers. If whoever makes the best clips during the month of February will get a gift card and VIP. Yeah, can we get some Ristols? Your first hype emote? Nice! Congrats, man! Okay, so we had Crystal, Keelan, Mac, and Kobobo today. Three colors. Oh, I need the jumpings. Okay, so if you don't know the journal, anybody who donates to the channel or uses your channel points, I will write your name for free. Any redeemers?
Do you guys like the weekend streams? Because since my like schedule isn't as what you call it, as consistent as it will be. Like I know I definitely still will try for like 3 to 4 streams a week. Like I think I will try to stream every other day cuz you guys know um, streaming is like very mentally taxing no matter how big you are and I think it's because just the underlying stress of like being viewed in real time yeah I know we usually get more personally analytics we get more unique viewers meaning more people click on the stream during weekends but that's I assume because less people are at work or at school so it makes sense but like I said, I think I will try to stream every other day. Like, there'll be some weeks where I can stream, like, multiple consecutive days, but I think I need, like, a day to rest, to, like, reset. So I think I might try that. So that that could mean that streams could, that streams could happen on, like, a weekend slot. Yeah, the only downside is that my friends are also not working on the weekends, so that's when we usually hang out. My weekend can be boring or stressful because I feel heavy from the week I just had. I kind of feel that. Definitely when I was working, the weekends were like my time to reset. But also, when you work in, like, food service, there's not many times where you can get weekends off or even consecutive days off. Like, it's gonna suck when I have to start working again. I was talking about this with my friend the other night, because I was, like, I was sad posting. I was like, how am I gonna work if I can't type or I can't sit for too long? And they were like, well, maybe there'll be something out there for you. And I'm like, true. But I'm not, I'm not looking for that, I guess, obligation. And I don't ever want streaming to become full-time income. I'd only want it to become full-time income if I had, like, a crew working for me, like, editors or something. Then that would be the only time, in my opinion, to where I could commit full-time to it. Just theoretically, if you can afford to have people work under you, then obviously you can afford to support yourself. Okay, once again, thank you to Crystal and Kobobo. Crystal with the 400 bits and then Kobobo with one gifted. Where's my pencil? Ah, yeah. Okay, I'm taking the headband off because I have a headache. And it's not because of my big brain. <laughs> Yeah, I have considered like telecommunicative work, but my concern is I can't commit to a rigid or rigid schedule because there are some days where I can like function fully, there are some days where I can't do shit. So it's like I can't like clock in and clock out from like 10 to 2. That's my concern. 
and there's like even if I get a proper diagnosis there's a limit to how like accommodating um, employers will be towards people who have disabilities or who need accommodations because even though workplaces are legally required to be anti-discriminatory they're still they still discriminate and that's just the reality because why would you that's why like during interviews um you you don't need to disclose what your disability is and i don't feel like you should the only time you need to disclose that you need accommodations is for like a callback interview or once you're hired on because um even if you bring up that you need accommodations during that initial interview they technically can't discriminate but there's no telling that they will my boss keeps putting me on weekend shifts sad hashtag can't relate <laughs> i'm kidding i never used to work my new ones working weekends because during my food service shifts that's usually when it was a bit slower because i worked in a how would you call it i guess the industrial part of town so the only real customers we would have regularly would be like workers so our lunch shifts would be crazy busy but then dinner time and the weekends would be pretty chill working is so stinky yeah i hate society Okay, so we had Mac with... Oh, Mac, that was your first gift of the month. You should have gotten bonus channel points. You're gonna hit that one billion soon, surely. I definitely will. <laughs> yeah. I think out of everyone, I think Mac would be the first to get or has and will maintain to be the person who has the most channel points. Because the only redemptions you'd use, Mac, are like the calligraphy, which are a drop in the bucket. And Mac is usually here for most every stream. Also, so is Cole Bobo. Ever since Kobobo's been chatting, they've been a diligent peace in 17 enjoyer. Wait, also chatters. Um, I said this before, but I'm updating my... How did you say? Like, chatters logs. So if you have any nicknames or pronouns, um, tell me now and I can change your- Because whenever mods, they can pull up your chat logs and they can add like little- You could say sticky notes to people's profiles. So I've been like keeping note of people's like preferred nicknames and then preferred pronouns. Cool. Thank you, Mac. I'll update that. Because like I know there's extensions to where you can have like- It's considered like an overlay. But it'll have like your pronoun next to your username. I personally choose to not use it. Because it's too distracting to have that extra, like, five characters on the screen. It also fills up my chat room, especially when I have, like, a single monitor set up. It covers the name. Or it, it it's harder for me to read the actual names or messages in the chat. That's why I don't- I choose to not use it. It's, like, almost too much on my screen. Everyone in here is pretty nice and considerate, so we don't have that issue yet. I, I don't think we've ever had anybody be mean about it and anytime somebody was misgendered they would apologize and that's only happened like two times between the chat so everybody's super understanding okay enough stalling back to clear me Yeah, honestly, if other small streamers had more redemptions like I did, I think I would redeem more. Because I feel like whenever you go to a small streamer's chat, they either have- oh. Shit. 
Keelan cheered bits today. Fuck me. <laughs> Shit. We're gonna make this into... I messed up the icon. I did a gift icon and not a cheer icon. Fuck. Let's make it a star. Oh, that looks so bad! Oh no! I don't have white out, so I don't care. <laughs> that looks so bad. I'm gonna get some paint. Anyway, what I was saying, I feel like small streamers either have no channel pull redemptions, or they have too many. And when you have too many channel pull redemptions, then people won't redeem. Because there's it's just too overwhelming to look through. Wow, look at that! It's like nothing even happened! Holy moly! Okay, I need to go clean this brush now, because this is one of my nicer brushes. Hold. I'm not stalling for content. Or run something. I saw this TikTok and they send like this card in the mail for 100k. Um, if I did that, would you guys do it? Wait, I can't mail out shit though until I get a PO box. Nice try, Cole Bobo. Yeah, I don't think I could ever mail out anything comfortably if it was from my actual mailing address. That'd be stupid. If you're a streamer and you do that, you should not do that. Because you never know which viewer is secretly doesn't like you. Okay, so we had Mac with one gifted and 100 bits, and then Keelan with 800 bits, and I think we had... Emmy with a resub today. Yeah. I think it's also concerning whenever streamers, whether big or small, if they have a job. You did 200 bits? Omega lol. <laughs> did you really? Oh yeah. Well, easy, easy fix. I don't need the paint. <gasps> the one became a two. <laughs> Saved. I'm even scared of sending my address to food delivery people. Really? Okay, I think your concerns are valid. They are valid, but they're fairly safe for the most part. I think if you're concerned about that, then definitely do a drop-off version. Like, to where you don't need to necessarily interact with the driver or delivery person. And I think you'll be fine. Because ever since pandemic to where they can just leave your food at the door, that's what we've been doing. We don't have to interact with anybody. It's nice. There's no fear of getting napped. Oh yeah, but anyway, I won't mail out anything until I get a P.O. box. And whenever I can start selling my paintings, um, exclamation art in chat, there's gonna be a point to where you can buy the paintings in the background. Wow. Um. But then, in order for me to mail out, I would need a P.O. box. So hopefully, I don't know if I'll be able to launch in March. Hopefully, April. Because I need to get money saved to buy shipping boxes and stuff. And buy the P.O. box. Yeah, any collectors? <laughs> hey, once again, thank you, Emmy, for a year resub. Holy moly. I think Emmy is my second year long sub. Okay, now channel for redemptions. 
Yeah, I I get so annoyed when they knock or this place has a doorbell and the doorbell scares the fuck out of me. Cause like we put a note in the description, do not knock. And they still knock. New art TikTok when? I don't know. I, w I was trying this past week, but my fingers were just fucking up. And it, t it takes so much, like, precision to hold a paintbrush, especially... Um, like, you know how in, like, kindergarten they give you the pencils that are, like, that thick? They do that so it's easier to grip. So when you're gripping really fine utensils like paintbrushes, uh, it, it strains your fingers. And my fingers are already kind of fucked this week. Because when I get more anxious, I get more numb. And even though my brain is too big and that is causing the problem, whenever I get anxious, it just increases the the symptoms. So this week was hard. I, I tried to paint, but I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Maybe next week. Or wait. I'm busy all next week. Maybe next next week. <laughs> oh, but we'll see. Like I said, for the art TikTok, it's only going to be when I can paint. I will post a speed painting. I, my goal is every other week. That is my goal. But definitely when I graduate school, I have a lot more time for everything. So I'll be able to stream more unless I get a real job right away, which honestly probably won't happen because the job market isn't bad. It's not that it's bad, it's just for my desired field. It's hard to get into. Yeah, let's see what color should I do. Okay, so Mac and Kim. Let's do pink for Kim. And then let's do lavender for Okay, Chatters, question. Tomorrow, should I wear a suit coat or should I wear a dress tomorrow for stream? Because since we're doing love advice, I can either do like the love guru shtick and wear a suit coat or I can wear the dress and be femme. The suit, it, it's gonna be, you know, the dark green um, suit coat I wear for Meggy Sports. It'll be that one. The suit? I wish I had a full suit. I do have dress pants. But I haven't worn them in ages. Hey Chatter, this is the last name of the day. So if you want to write your name, all you gotta do is donate to the channel. Or use your channel points. Last name. So last call. I actually have to go because my sister bought me lunch. She got me Popeyes. Any redeemers? Yes, okay. I might wear the suit coat then. But it's green! It's not Valentine's-y. It's green. Okay, so... Stalling? Fuck you. Fuck you. Let's do yellow. <laughs> I chose the faintest yellow. And before you say scam, it is there, okay? It's a very faint yellow. I also changed my color settings on my camera, so everything should be a bit more saturated, but not crazy today. Okay, now we're done. We're officially done. I, I want to go eat. I am starving. Okay, so I would like to thank everybody for watching any chatters lurkers i hope you guys had a fun time today i, I might have overshared a little bit but we're definitely getting deep tomorrow because tomorrow we i will be answering my chatters relationship qualms and troubles on stream tomorrow so if you want another more 
heart to heart type stream. Tune in tomorrow. Um, if you're new here, follow the channel. And if you've watched this far and you aren't following, fucking follow. Easy clap. And if you are following, make sure your notifications turn on. That way you don't miss a single stream. I know Twitch notifications can be kind of finicky, so make sure you're following my Twitter. I do go live tweets every time I go live. And you get funny tweets sometimes. I had fun. I will see you guys tomorrow. Once again, thank you to Emmy, Kobobo, Mac, Crystal, and Keelan for donating today. I appreciate you all. I paid off the chocolates. Let's go. Okay, bye. <laughs> Man, today was fun. I didn't think today would be like... Not that I didn't think today would be fun, but... It was, it was nice. It's weird being like vulnerable on stream. It feels cringe, but it's still fun. Wait, I gotta run an ad. <laughs> w number one gifter? Oh, true! You have your placeholder now, Kobobo. Let's go. Can't wait for tomorrow's stream. Ooh, let's go. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be good crazy. I- okay. I might cry tomorrow. <laughs> have I ever cried on stream? I don't think so. I might cry. Because, like, just talking about shit makes you sad sometimes, right? I might cry. I don't know. I'll, I'll try my best. I'll try and get some sleep tonight so I don't fucking cry tomorrow. <laughs> oh no! My pencil's out of lead. What do I do? Do I throw it away? Wait, never mind. But I have to go through my six hour shift before it? Fuck. I hate that. I mean, six hours? Okay, not that it's not bad, but it's not like as crazy as like an eight hour. At least you still get like a break. Because, like, our workplace would schedule us for like four hour shifts or like four hour and 30 minutes so like we would only get a 10 but then they'd make us skip our 10 so then we'd get no break and it's bad hopefully it's not that bad and if it is you can always hang out with us after and chill and hang out and have fun also can i just say keelan is a good chatter like i i'm usually pretty so stuff not to call y'all directly but i usually get scared whenever we get a new chatter um oh don't leak your rage hon don't <laughs> no leaks no leaks <laughs> Everybody, don't look at the chat. <laughs> but it's not often we get, like, a new chatter who tries to be funny. It's actually good. So good job. Drake's the chat. Okay, anyway, awkward. <laughs> yeah, because whenever we get a new chat, they leave and then never come back. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you all had fun today. Tomorrow's gonna be a bit heavier, so get your tissues. To cry, of course. Not for anything else. But yeah, tomorrow will be fun. We should do a prediction. Is Megan gonna cry or not tomorrow? <laughs> Mods, write it down. Okay, bye. I'll see you all later. I will see you all later. Okay, bye.